Previously on Tessie Teams. Because we've had this conversation already, and a cat's time is precious. Whoa. I just thought I would thank you for the help. What do you mean we've had this I conversation thought... before? I was going to give you a chicken or a something. A fourth time. I'm sorry, a fourth time? There is one, uh, one piece of mail, uh, one scroll, uh, that has uh, a symbol you suspect you may be seeing uh, more often. Okay. Uh, the, a red wax seal uh, bearing the insignia of Acquisitions Incorporated. Okay. <clears throat> um, and it is, uh, as I suggested, a priority task. Um, and it, uh, in the field for what is being asked, it simply says uh, consultancy, and then it says uh, details uh, upon arrival. So the divine sense, uh, your awareness down to very minute details on multiple layers of consciousness, you see yourself in that amethyst cathedral. What can he you not tell needs me to do what I do. Which is? Fix shit. All right, I'm with you. All right? What do you need me for? And a voice sort of fills the space. And it says, finally, someone who understands my position. It threatens the fastest weapon You wouldn't make it past a second And that's the question Play it brash and reckless Or choose a cautious solution You thought was prudent In any sepulchre Pulchritude will become the putrid It's that wealth that I'm pursuing No mountain too steep Or dungeon too deep To send expendable marks Up to the top of the peak of beneath They see you bleed They come like sharks to it While I swim in that money bin Like Carl Barks drew it So send your national parks drew it I'll send them home in a natural box With a closed top And most of the parts included Save your breath for a cleric confessor. Death is a lesson and life is a tenured professor. But if you're seeking my official advice, sign on the dotted line and mission the twice. I'm Manifest Harroward Drawn, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. But today. No audio. No audio from me? No, I got it. Oh, okay. Audio now? Okay. Now audio? How about me? Can you hear me? Check. Yes. You sound good. Thank uh, you. You're Aww. a good friend. And I'm here to play a game of Dungeons and Dragons with my friends, specifically these friends, to my right, Dragonborn Narcissist on our blood side. Yay! He's back! Way. Yeah! He has returned. Oh, yeah. Upon the wings of angels. Who's Anna? <laughs> <laughs> uh, to the right of my right, repping the natural world walnut dong grass, Kakra. Kakra! Kakra. I subdued Kakra to you today. That's right. My long rest button. Minimal Kakra. Uh, yes, minimum viable Kakra. Yes, it is. Uh, to my left, not your grandma's grandma, except in those rare cases where she is your grandma's grandma, Rosie Beestinger. Subdued. Yeah. Subdued shadows. Yeah. <laughs> Minimal twists. It's, it's the season arc, and I don't know how things are going to go, so. so. We're going to see how it goes. So you, you, you want to conserve your energy, for sure. I agree. Just kind of yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Keep yeah. it chill. Uh, to the left of my left, emerging as though from a mist shroud. Really? Oh, that Whoa! You know what? Oh, Subdued. I'm just gonna breathe it. <laughs> I'm not even coming out. I'm just gonna breathe it. No, see? Just <laughs> let the mystery mm. come back. And... <laughs> you just know what? Through, ah, through the crevice. Harder. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I oh, there don't we go. Is there something cool? I mean, I want to see. Is there no, I was just, just doing a long rest. Say oh, hello. oh, are we taking? We have to take a long rest. No, no, no. I do. I'm. Man. He's done. He's doing nothing but rest. The longest rest. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I'm leaving this up to the simulation. No, exactly. It's in the simulation now, stand still. So do we have audio? Is it real? Okay. Hey, uh, I don't have my magical sheet. Wow, this is just amateur hour, <laughs> top to bottom. I, I leave for a minute and everything just falls apart. I have well, to go was, to the bathroom still. It was better when Anna was here. Yeah? Yeah, slightly. Sure. It's fine. Uh, we'll 
we'll get there one day. We'll fix it in post. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this isn't live. Everybody just stop <laughs> watching yeah. and come back. So, uh, you may or may not be aware. It's possible. I certainly harangue you about it enough. Uh, but we have an integration, as they say, uh, with uh, Idol Champions, Cody Entertainment. Very, very exciting. Deep integration insofar as uh, we have found a digital way uh, for Omen uh, to utilize your work hours. Um, yeah, it's, it's working pretty good. Uh, in fact, it's never worked as good as it did this time around. Uh, which is Bonkersville, and you'll see precisely how Bonkersville as soon as I push this button. <laughs> but there is also a gold chest giveaway, like just like there is every week in the short. Now, as a professional uh, Idol Champions player, mm -hmm. what is a gold chest? Oh, gold like, chest. No, no, I mean, to a person, like to, to the layman. To the layman. It is uh, just a bevy of rewards. It could include potions. It could include bounty contracts. It could include equipment for the original characters. Who knows? That's Whoa. great. So it's a, in, in any case, it's something that you want. Um, that's true. So the arc uh, that we've done, so obviously the second arc is going to be wrapping up today. Uh, but there's a, there's a rebalance, like end to end. They're basically going to like... Uh, re, like, rebalance a bunch of the individual characters. Like the dad shoes? No, I don't think so. So that should be pretty cool. Now, this is what I mean. Watch this. I'm going to push the button that says go. Uh, <coughs> 69. Oh. 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 Whoa! Whoa. Ninety-eight. Oh. That's, That's a sex, too. That's pretty... a sex number. Yeah. 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 I don't think it is. Um, although I, I would be... In Cincinnati it is. <laughs> I would be willing to entertain... Cincinnati 98. <laughs> possible configurations, yeah. to be sure. Wow. Uh, so when last we saw our heroes, um, a significant proportion of them, indeed 75%, plus Anna, which is like another 75%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> All right, I get it. Everyone can stop tweeting me. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Equaling a total of 150%, mm -hmm. which you, you get your money's worth, obviously, with that integration. Um, but a large proportion of them uh, were caused in an illusory way, oh. illusory way, mm -hmm. uh, to relive the very first moments of the franchise with mm -hmm. one... Uh, particular distinction that the initial job was very different. Uh, the initial job was that they had been sent uh, to the Sumber Kingdoms, a place which, you know, I think we may be uh, clear upon this matter is not real, not 100% real at any rate. Uh, it's not a place. Uh, and sent to a castle there uh, to operate in a consulting way. Uh, for a vizier and their very, very focused king. Um, and what was learned there uh, was that this, uh, this imaginary realm of the Sumber Kingdoms perceived itself to be under attack and primarily focused their efforts on Rosie, trying to make Rosie understand the situation, which is that there are concerns uh, for a... Uh, a household, a nation, uh, perhaps even a multiverse, uh, where even absolute knowledge, power, and control over minutia is insufficient to provide protection. Um, that's the way that the last game ended. Uh, the party found themselves rematerialized within the strange amethyst cathedral uh, of the Sanguilith. Uh, our good friend Evelyn. Uh, was projected out, uh, never done before, uh, projected outside of this place, uh, managing to escape, which is definitely a first uh, for gods inside the Sanglith. Uh, that is where we are at now. The very last line from the Sanglith to Rosie is finally someone who understands my position. Uh, and that is... Uh, where we find our game do we have today. Our, do we have our memories back? Or no? Yeah, you are a whole. Okay. Oh. Do we have memory of what just like occurred? Dylan? You have both. Okay. You are a deeply and profoundly fully integrated individual. 
Okay. Hmm. Uh, both of these strange lives um, are all yours, and you have complete access to the memories inside them. Great. I'm upset because it made more sense before. Yeah. It's like, this is worse. <laughs> <laughs> Take them away again, please. It was very clear. <laughs> exactly. So as you're uh, uh, standing uh, here in this slightly cool expanse, uh, ghostly, if you'd be so kind. Hey! Uh, I definitely would like to direct the camera elsewhere briefly, if that's at all possible. Mm-hmm. You can just go to the bathroom uh, if you need to. Yeah, I mean, you can stop. <laughs> I don't want the yeah. camera in there. Uh, although I understand it's fine with Twitch, so yeah. let's, let's, do oh, it, it let, let's yeah. do it that way. Um, so here's how it goes. <clears throat> Imagine that the camera has left this zone, perhaps backwards away from the party, down, uh, down through the rotating saw-like radula in the center of the uh, cathedral floor, uh, down now uh, turning, looking toward the planet, which from this perspective, we can fully and completely see the stakes uh, that, oh, we are, that we are managing with. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Ruth's, Ruth's Chris. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. Um, I understand that there's a lot of butter on the steaks, which makes sense because yeah. they're yeah. really good. It's a buttery steak. Yeah, it's yeah. a good. Yeah. Butter has. You got it. It's all about the sides, though. Historically, sides? it's been evaluated. Oh, the sides? Yeah. Okay, we're talking about they got the Brussels. All right, I'm in. Mm. Right? The, um, the sweet potato pie. Pie. Sweet potato sign. pie is a sign? It's a yeah. sign? Oh, you're a decadent lad. This is the arc end. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have the sign? Overlay it here later. Do you, do you have the sign? I don't need it. <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. I am the sign. Right. So, the camera has turned down. This is no longer <laughs> anything like a planet. It's quite clear. Mm. Uh, the, uh, imagine that there's a single uh, sphere-like hinge and that the entire planet um, has split into four uh, wedges. And those wedges even now uh, grip the Sanguilith itself in space. Uh, And there is deeper, the farther down we get into it, vast, vast portions of the internal structure of this planet. And I use the term planet with the strongly implied quotation marks, mm-hmm. which has, you know, has historically have been you know, suggested with the fingers. I'm not doing that, this is a tasteful program. Mm. Uh, we, don't Appreciate engage, it. we don't engage in that kind of thing here. It is entirely possible uh, once you have traveled sufficiently deep uh, along with this camera, you can see that very near the end, where these pieces hinge, uh, projected forward several hundred feet, there is a glass orb, mm. uh, a bubble whose surface is iridescent in a way, calling to mind the uh, strange raiment, perhaps, of the Tome Nook clan. Hmm. Uh, and inside this, there is a small but profoundly resilient woman. Hmm. She stands on a platform that has been installed halfway inside this sphere. Uh, her raiment is much as her daughter Sorrel's was. But in addition, she has around her waist, uh, this is a, a grandmother for whom two arms uh, have long been considered insufficient. <laughs> uh, toward this end, she has manufactured with her cleverness, as the mother of invention, two additional arms. Nice. These arms uh, extend out and down and they each hold a tiny orb in the lower left and lower right attached to the rest of this marvelous device. Your mom is Zenyatta. (laughs) That makes sense. Her (laughs) upper (laughs) arms, her regular arms, although she could give you a a detailed analysis of the advantages. Hmm. Standard. Uh, 
the, yeah, the, the standard issue. Right. This is the ones that she came with. <laughs> uh, they see two similar ones. And she is in the process uh, of all of her strength trying to pull all four of these orbs together into a single point. Nice. And there is no sound outside of this orb, but it is quite clear looking in that if we could join her inside that orb, it would be filled with the sound of her screaming. Whoa. Thank you, Ghostly. Mm. So you, you, you rest now inside this breezeless, yet still strangely cool mausoleum uh, that you know as the Sanguilith, or in the colloquial language of your people, the adversary. Right. But these are, these are truly the same. They aren't meant to imply anything different. It's just a history there. That's the main distinction. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's where we are. I am ready at a moment's notice to simulate an entire universe for your amusement. I've arranged all of my papers. Um, all right. Do it. Thicker oh. than usual. We I would say oh. we've been uh, uh, we have our memories back, but at the very end, you were having a parlay, this yes. communication, and are we still suspended in slow motion? Exactly. Now, so you have been released from those forces. Okay. That entire uh, illusory device and its uh, simulated physics are no longer have a grip. Does it appear to be? Does it know that it has released us from the spell? It is, it is deathly quiet inside. Okay. And it's very, very difficult to ascertain its much of anything about it. It doesn't have a face in the classic sense. Okay. And so you can try to intuit right. what, what it means. But the main thing is the last piece of information that it gave you was that it seemed to think that it had found a point of agreement. Uh, with you, Rosie. And is Dinar here? Dinar is not here. Okay. Everyone should be asking where is Dinar. Yeah, I was just going to say, we've all seen the hashtag. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> um, you should have access to First the time question. machine. <laughs> there have been no answers to that, so it's just painful to say it again and again. So we stopped. We just agreed to not say it. This anything. wash of memories comes over all of us. Exactly. And so it's stuffed remember, together. Yeah, I remember a whole set of years adventuring with this dragonborn who's just not here with us anymore. Mm. And I think that that is, that's gutting. Mm. I don't, I don't oh. know what to say. Because, yeah, I mean, Rosie and Dinar have a very special connection. They do. And so there's this, there's this emptiness inside of Rosie that she, she, she's just stunned. She doesn't say anything. She's just going over, trying very hard to figure out what's real and what's not, mm -hmm. looking at all of you. Wondering if you remember these same things. So, when we were in the test market, <clears throat> um, or when we were not in the test market, when we had just come out of the test market this still, last time, we're still in the test market. We're still in the test market. Mm -hmm. um, it was revealed to us that we had done this journey four times. Mm -hmm. Right. Do I have memory of all four times, or just <clears throat> the, the one that we've played through, and then what just happened? It's thinking back to Onyx. Mm -hmm. Onyx might have considered that the fourth time in a sequence. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, I get it now. I mean, I'm not a cat. But... I have to put myself sort of in that feline place. That's role-playing. Yeah. yeah. Um, role-playing. I... Uh, <laughs> I say to Kithris, um, do, you have the, do you have the arrow? I do, yeah. So uh, if you mention that, yeah, I'll reach into my uh, bag and withdraw it. So you, you reach in, mm -hmm. and you have to, you seek it, mm -hmm. um, and then your hand brushes against a uh, toothbrush. Right. The handle, the, anyway. The, the hilt, yeah. Yeah. Got, I've got all we have left of them. Uh, I'll withdraw them both. Okay. If this is the time to, uh, we recall now. I just don't think that we can do this with the three of us. But he's gone. He's gone. But his name is still on the arrow. It, 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 it took him. I take it to mean that this arrow was meant to 
send away or obliterate only him. I assume there are arrows with our names as well. But he can't be gone. That's impossible. <laughs> Nobody's really gone. Here, so we will take it from Everybody's here. Everybody's gone. From, yeah. from, from this moment, they're all fucking gone. No. Yeah. We'll, we'll take that uh, moment here. So, uh, Dinar, you are on the, uh, the deck of the ship. Uh, there is an assortment, uh, an angelic, a malevolent angelic choir. Um, and when uh, you hear a familiar voice, a voice you haven't heard since you were uh, a younger man, uh, you can hear audibly the stretch of this divine bow. Um, and as the arrow is loosed, uh, towards you, it just it sings through the air as it splits the wind, and uh, your brother Nace says, "Just get in here," um, and then you feel yourself pulled uh, from where you are on the deck to another place, in more or less the moment that an arrow would have passed through you. What? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> you are uh, instantly in a place that you think you recognize. There is the small meditation rooms, uh, much like the ones, the, the Scollin ones, as we suggested at the time, mm -hmm. the place where you meditate before you engage in the functionally religious to the Dragonborn ritual of combat in the arena. Uh, it requires a night of purification and personal, mental, physical maintenance before you can even enter into it. It's dangerous not to do so. Um, and so, and you can look out this window and see the Janari arena mm -hmm. uh, where uh, challenges, matters of, even matters of law and of great import are resolved in this, you know, religious context. Um, and seated on the simple bed where uh, the warrior uh, would prepare themselves, you see your brother Nace. Um, that would, yeah. Uh, uh, I go hug him. <clears throat> he, so as you, you come over, he makes a play, he puts, the, he puts his hands up, he's like, oh no, no! And then, as you come in, it just grabs, and then it's just back on the bed. And it is, it is we're talking about an active WWE yeah. scenario. The difference, if you'd have to say, is that you think you might be a little stronger than him now. Oh, am I still, I'm still 50 or whatever, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. we'll get to it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, he was uh, dead, so. When, how old was Dinar when he died? Um, 18, it happens right before, right he, before, the show. before okay. he leaves, yeah. Gotcha. Um, it's one of the uh, inciting events that you'll be able to read all about. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, this would catch Dinar. I mean, this was a bunch of weird stuff that happened. Yeah. But the weirdest of all is his dead brother's not dead, so, yeah. He would say, well, yeah, so he... he you've been uh, in here the whole time? Yeah, he pushes you down. It's been a couple of years. <laughs> he says, he says, it looks like it. And he reaches out, <laughs> he reaches out and like just with his thumb sort of travels along these uh, ridges that Dinar's unnatural aging have sort of pushed in an early dad bod direction. <laughs> like just a little bit like the copper at the end is a little worn. Green. A little dark, like, yeah, exactly. Green, right? It's, it's oh, sort of it's tinged like, at the like end, penny. like yeah. aged. Or yeah, or like, like a dome. It's yeah. a patina. It's a patina. Yeah, it's a, yeah, thank yeah. you, yeah. thank you. Um, <clears throat> but, but he's just like, how long? Uh, since, since you died? Uh, he's uh, like, died? You've been gone for... He's like, does that sound like me, buddy? Does no, that sound like something no, I would do? No, but we had a funeral. That's what they that's what they told me. That's what Pran said. He's like Do they have those cakes I like? At your funeral? <laughs> yeah. No. It was pretty quick, actually. 
He's like, well, I'm glad I wasn't there then. Yeah, it wasn't good. It was a, it wasn't a good funeral. You, you deserve better. I mean, they never are. Yeah. But, yeah, the next time I want you to do it right. I want you to have those cakes. I need um, it too. They got to have that, that liar. You know the guy, not like the low city, but like the mid city. The guy with the liar on the bridge. That's the guy I want. And I want the cakes. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. Uh, done. Easily. Good. But he leans, he, he leans back and, and laces his <laughs> fingers against the pillow. And he's like, Look, I, just, I do what the big guy says, bro. Yeah? I do what the big guy says. <laughs> uh, he says, you and me? Yeah. We're plan B. I'm nobody's plan B. You're his plan B. Yeah. Did, so, did you know? Did, Which thing? I know some stuff. Did you I know, might know what you want. Did he's you like, know he he's wasn't like, there? He's like, are you brushing these? And he, he, lifts up the, he lifts up the liver and he's like, are you, where, how often? I don't know how I'm supposed to, supposed to brush them. It's kind of, I kind of fast forwarded. We'll get to me he's in a like, minute. He's like, no, no, no. He we'll reaches, get to me in a minute. He reaches over to the table and gets the toothbrush out. And he's like, listen, this is, we got time. You just, come on. And his, he moves his other thumb around, lifts it up. And please try to talk as yeah. he does so. And he's yeah. like, see, yeah, okay, you're not even getting up to the top. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do you this. You get one set. <laughs> you don't have Two to do Two rows, this. but yeah. you get one set. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> what, what happened? Where? How did you get here? Fars, kid. He just scrapes, scrape, yeah. scrape. My, my roommate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he. Yeah. So you know about that? He bunks that news to me. He. Yeah. He bunks sometimes. Sure. He <laughs> hangs out sometimes. Oh. He's got places to go. He can't just go there. He can't just well, walk around. Then, we were he always told he that's, doesn't. Yeah. Well, that's what. Yeah. Okay. Well, how many times have you done the trip? One. Okay. And he well, wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you couldn't find anything out. You couldn't find any information. You yes. didn't know. Okay. I didn't know. All right. I got to do it because you died. Well, that's not true, but the death. yes. Yeah, obviously. No, I did do it. Oh, yeah, okay. When I mean, you got all the way to the top, but I did not die because I'm not even sure if I can, so. <laughs> I think this is heaven. <laughs> I, I think we're both dead, and we're not making a case <laughs> against it. And he's, he's like, look, there's another bed over there. Stuff comes in. Now, I just woke up, so there's a lot of stuff that I don't know. I just woke up about five minutes ago. What? How long have you been here? I, I don't know. I mean, you're telling me that you saw me dead, what, two or three years ago? Didn't hmm. see you dead. I saw well, your stuff. Of course. Your you, saw my, stuff you saw my stuff. And, you know. Yeah. Their siblings said you were dead. And you took the sword, which, I mean, I expected. <laughs> yeah. Thief. Uh, <laughs> it was like, just gonna go to waste there anyway. Stop making this about me. <laughs> He's like, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, how's how's prawn? Good. Schlager? I don't know. I haven't been back in a while. But, I mean? left to try to find Vars. I'm. Somebody's gonna have to. You. What? I didn't want to do it, and that's, you know, that's on me. But all the things that I don't want to do, you have to do. That's like the royal family. <laughs> like, yeah. if I go, then you gotta, but you gotta step up. There's no... And now you got this patina. Yeah. I mean, this is, people are gonna like this. I mean, I, I think this is like... Distinguished. Yeah. I like this, actually. This works. Well, that's one of us. Uh, well, I mean, I tried to go back. The guards wouldn't let me in. <laughs> He's like, okay, so... That old chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is how it is. So, like I said, we're plan B. I'm up now. Plan B for what? What's plan A? Well, what? Pl <clears throat> okay, so you have to understand. So, this is, how, this is how he told it to me. And you know how he is, right? Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> this is how he told it to me. He said that something was going to go down that he'd made. Like he had this guy he was working with uh, on something big. Right, but he kind of a kind of a quiet, kind of a silent type. Doesn't really talk much, um, and he likes them. But there's somebody else, like sort of like a middleman type. 
And that was a problem. There's a huge problem. Uh, but he is working with the silent guy, and he thinks that they can come together and figure something out. But he thinks that this other person is going to get in the way. And so look, we do what the big guy says, right? This is, are there names? I don't yeah, know. Okay, so like, what's your last name? Like, I forget. Like, what is it? My? Like, yeah. <laughs> right. Janar. Yeah, it is? That's where you're from. Yeah. What's your last name? Janar. It's, our last names are Janar. It's not Blitzen? Who's, who's no. Peter? No. <laughs> you're a fake. <laughs> My real brother would know that. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. um, he's like, okay, so watch this. So he left me this. I don't know what it is. I've only had a little bit to look at it and figure it out. Maybe you know what it is, okay? Um, and it looks like, because most of this has sort of an ascetic, monk-like quality already, um, there is a, uh, just like a thin sheet over what looks like a half table, like in the, in the center of the room. Yeah. And he, he pulls it off, and what you see under it is an almost featureless hunk of what looks like black, glossy black rock. Like obsidian? Yeah, yeah, obsidian, except it's a little more matte in places. Okay. It's only really shiny where it's been chipped away. And there's one portion of it that you can see like very clearly Mm -hmm. has had a piece uh, chipped and forcibly removed. Does this mean anything to me at all? He says, this is all I've been able to figure out. And then he, he goes over to it and he stands in front of it. And then he turns around and he sits on it. And he says, I think it's a, a bad chair. I mean, it looks uncomfortable. <laughs> I, he, I think it's like, I think it's like a chair, but it's like you're supposed to feel bad for sitting on it. So... Maybe you get up after you've been sitting up for a little bit, and then you go do something. Are you able to leave? That's as close <laughs> as I got. Are you, like, in solitary confinement? No, no. Now that, now that you're here, I can go. I actually really appreciate being here. Oh, okay. It's time. He said, you're going to wake up. And I woke up, kind of looked at the rock, sat on it for a little while, said, hmm. Uh, <laughs> then I heard you out there, pulled you in. Now we can go to work. So you've only been in here for a minute. Well, as, as far as I can tell. Don't let the don't let the face fool you. It's been like three years since you've been gone. Since we've been gone. Yes. <laughs> so what, what have you been? I mean, breathing. It's only three for the first time. Uh, yeah. He's, he reaches out for the horns again and pulls it. To- yeah. This isn't. This was another thing. This is a whole <laughs> different thing. But I'm the older brother now. And I say we stay. <laughs> He's like, well, here, maybe we can figure out a way to get back in. Or we'll do what the big guy said. Okay. Uh, and maybe we can just come back in. Well, we'll yeah, about, about him, uh, last thing I remember was uh, him being forcibly uh, ripped from my chest cavity. Okay. What else? Is there any, is there any more? Is that all the... No, that, it? that happened, and then the arrow happened, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. basically so, yeah. like so, yeah, so I'm like, later. yeah, no, that's about it. <laughs> He's like, God, maybe he needs this thing now. This rock? This chair? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if he wants to sit on it. Like, it seems too small. Yeah, it does seem too small. <laughs> well, look, we'll just, here, we're just going to push it out of here. I need your help. Okay. All right. So he's like, he's like, All right, get on, no, no, lift with your knees. Yeah. You're getting old. I do. And I lift with them. All right. I lay on my back and I push up with my knees. What's your no. knee constitution no. modifier? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> plus five. Strong knees. Got that glucose in me. No, that's not great. Yeah. <laughs> no, you need to work out. You skip, you skip, you skip knee day. Yeah. So um, you're able to uh, help him. It, it is not as heavy as it looks, at yeah. least in here. Um, and uh, you're able to uh, help him get it over to this window that you can look out and see, uh, see the see the city, basically see the arena, but also the lower tiers of the city. Is it look? 
like it, the it, city? It looks like the city, but... Is there anything giving away that it's not? Uh, or do other, I think other, I've been teleported to... Yeah, I mean, other than... You think it might be a very nice diorama. Okay. Because <clears throat> uh, other parts of this have been strange thus far. The sky is just too pink. Yeah, it exists. No, it's you just see like the... the seams. No, it's, yeah. the, it's, <laughs> like the, it's like the blue screen with like the memory information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so you're able, he's like, all right, up. And then uh, you like rest it on the edge of the window. Mm -hmm. um, and then you push uh, the rock uh, out and down into the thing. Um, all right, so uh, we're moving the camera back out. Uh, and he's like, actually, he's like the only thing. And he's like, so that was my part. I did my part, and I think I did a great job. I mean, he needed some help with it. It's good to see you. I could see why he would, yeah. Yeah. He's pushing a rock out a window it does seem like a, a great well, master plan. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> You're going to see. You're going to see. This is all going to work out. He says, the only thing he said that you had something that you were going to do, but I was like, it's Dinar. He's got this. Uh, he said that all you had to do was uh, prevent the creation of the Herald, whatever that is. Okay. And I think you probably get, and you, you did that, right? Like, there was going to be a Herald, and you were like, fuck no. I don't think we met a Herald. None of this. I'm not good with names. Yeah. It might have been a Herald. <laughs> no, 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 it's like H-A-R-O-L-D. <laughs> yeah. I assume. That's what I'm. That's what I'm interpreting. Yeah. Okay. And there, and there was no, no herald. No, we haven't met a herald yet. So, high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I gave you that. You're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. So, uh, <clears throat> outside, uh, in this this cool space, you can see uh, the light that enters the cathedral. Um, has begun to be occluded at uh, several points by what looks like growing uh, dark patches uh, on the outside. Mm. So it is uh, rapidly becoming uh, darker uh, bit by bit inside the structure of the cathedral. Okay. Do we do? I mean, not that we are aware of these of these uh, pieces. <clears throat> well, there, there. See, even then, there are. In addition to that, should you look for them, there are definitely four pronounced. There's already the sort of shape mm -hmm. of it in general that has a gem-like structure, but there are four very dark lines. Okay. That travel up the sides. Yeah. On four sides of it. Okay. So, so having looked out of the ship yeah. earlier for a while back, yeah, and being aware that this thing is splitting, I yes. may be able to assemble an you, idea. No, you of can what build it. Yeah. You have the you have the awareness of that final. Okay. Uh, that final moment. I mean, I'm gonna. So I have the 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 I have toothbrush and the arrow fragment out, and. Uh, but I, uh, but my eyes right now are on Rosie, because we the last thing we heard was some Maybe kind of a discussion yeah, going on. Exactly. That's with Sybil Lathrop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was just gonna say, and even now, there is probably still a cool echo uh, of that last phrase ringing around inside. Okay. Um, so I think that Rosie has. Told you guys like he's gone. This person that we have been with that we forgot about, he's just gone. And you have artifacts of his, so we know it's real. Like he really existed. Yeah. So from looking at that, Rosie, like um, her brow kind of furrows and her face darkens, and she looks up into this cathedral, and she says, "What do you do with Dinar Blitzen?" The voice replies, <clears throat> "That." wasn't me. <laughs> Although I, I understand that you have no reason to trust my words, that one thing wasn't me. Can I do an insight check to see if I Absolutely. Do we yeah. all hear that or just right? Yeah, no, this is, this is ringing out inside this uh, diamond. It's an eight. Plus what? S six plus two. Oh, equal. you mean eight oh. <laughs> equals uh, eight, yeah. Jerry? Yeah, yeah. Siri. As in one, two, three, <laughs> uh, You have to take it at face value. Okay. 
it's it could be it could be that uh, hmm. generating you know strong gut feelings about things requires a host of organic components that it doesn't seem to have. Mm. It might have been easier with Sybil Lath. I see. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm I'm trying to insight check of an amethyst cathedral. Yeah. So that would be welcome to the C team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, I'm trying to add, that has to be a t-shirt at some point. <laughs> um, okay. So you guys all hear this too. Like, yeah. Do, I, you, do you believe it? Like, do you, are you with, like, well, if... I, I would say, I mean... No. True. Or believe. True or not. <laughs> yeah, or, or disbelief. True or not, you, <clears throat> you know what its goal is. Yeah, I remember everything, right? Yeah, so... Do the, the... Previously, when we were in this, there were almost like sarcophagi around us. Yeah, and that and that remains true. Are they all full? Uh, they are. They are absolutely full. But except for except for what was the uh, last one, you had seen something like a, a column, uh, like a coherent column of golden light. Yeah. And there is even now in the wall something that looks like uh, damage to the structure mm -hmm. that seems to be filling in with a liquid that uh, is uh, making the cracks whole. Mm. Does it look like that memory juice we saw? This doesn't look like the silver stuff. Okay. Um, I don't know how to talk to this thing. Kathris, you do it. I <clears throat> do not know how to talk to this thing. Do you know how to talk to this thing? Uh. I say, um, I do, but I'm done speaking for it. And I am going to heft Dinar's sword and try to just bring it down uh, onto, the, onto the surface of the floor. Ooh. Like, I just like, I re I'm rejecting whatever parlay, whatever information exchange yeah. is gonna be attempted for its benefit. What do I get? What do Perfect. I have? Well, here, just, just roll an attack. Bull. Come on, good guy. Give me some. You want your take, big, big let boy. Me, let me take advantage. Yeah. I want to. I'll, I'll give you the. I'll tell you the greats. Uh, what greats are damages if you? Yeah, you know what? I don't know what it would be then, because I've got. Because uh, this is a long sword. I don't have proficiency. I've, I've got it. Then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but you're, got the, you're proficient. Okay. Well, that's gonna be seventeen. Yeah. I mean, I'm hitting. Got, I'm hitting a floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just <coughs> be six plus five. Hey, yeah, yeah, it's that's a little better. Twenty-three. Absolutely. Right. So how much? Two d six plus five. Two d six plus five. Two d six. Two d six. We have to roll one at a time. That's a one. Okay, that's seven. Yeah. There you go. Twelve. <coughs> it's dead. <laughs> you destroy it. So <laughs> twelve damage. So you are. Who knew? It so has you to be exactly twelve. So though. you you pull this thing out, and it's you marvel. I mean, you had grabbed it before and felt how ungainly it was, mm -hmm. but it's like there's it's like there is it's like there's something intensely heavy, like rolling around in it. You have no idea how you would use this thing as a weapon, <clears throat> um, and you. Bring it up over your shoulder. I mean, it's at least it's at least as tall as you are, right? Yeah. Um, and then you're able to, uh, assisted, uh, no doubt, uh, by uh, Maleth, uh, you're able to heave it over on your shoulder, and then bring it down. And then where the sword connects with the ground, it actually hits, perhaps three feet above it. And what it strikes is not the floor of the Sangwilith at all, Whoa. but the Black Altar. Uh, so it's vitally important that we go into the Black Altar, with precisely what it represents. Okay, so, jump, I jump in. Yeah, <clears throat> you get right in there. Um, this, the Black Altar, was something like a moment of, like the Damascus conversion for Paul. Um, witnessing it, <laughs> right, witnessing we all the know. Uh, like, oh, what he's like, talking about. Uh, really like oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> did, it's like the Council of Nicaea. Did, did everybody? Did everybody? I'm sorry. I guess everybody didn't grow up in church. So, 
there's a guy named Paul, and then he was going to, he, he was going someplace, and then like, on the way, and he's like, whoa! John, George, Ringo were there. Yeah. My Ringos. <clears throat> All my Ringos. So, Meringue. So, <laughs> uh, the Black Altar was a inflection point in the life of a young Kathris that revealed what go into what the black altar represents yes, to Kithris. Please do. Oh yeah. The black altar was uh, you know, sort of like the, the tipping point, discovering it or, or or parts of it in the underdark. Uh, <clears throat> in a language that I could read but could not make out one of the sigils, which turned out to be the Ur. Uh, and my belief that this is a this is a proper Noun. This is a name of the thing that is beneath all reality, and uh, I was able to chisel out that that name on that black fragment, and that is my arcane focus. And it guided me in my studies for the actual god, yeah. the meta god, <laughs> not these nonsensical, is that, not these warring pantheons, vain. Yeah, yeah. I demand tribute, and I'm <coughs> upset. I'm sad. Well, what did the rest of the Black Altar say? I, hmm, we never have established that. Mm -mm. It, but it said enough that um, encouraged me to take hold of the one part of it that I could not understand. Like, this was the true mystery. I was sure of it. Uh, so when the teeth of Toothbrush come down on it, they leave absolutely no mark. There's just a shower of sparks that leap off of it and dance across the floor. Um, uh, and as it, as it hits, the voice in the cathedral returns, but this time with uh, great intensity and possibly even terror. Mm. <clears throat> uh, and it says, no. Not yet. Not yet. Do it again. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna hit this thing again. Well, and you can already my, see. My you, arms you, are like sore. Yeah, it's exactly. From the rattle. So, so you're 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 still holding on to the the haft of this thing, and uh, the voice is starting. The voice that you heard is starting to recede, and the quality and tenor of the light in the rest of the cathedral is beginning to shift hmm. uh, now toward uh, the, like the uh, ruby red end of the spectrum, uh, like the glittering eyes that you once had. Hmm. And uh, there is, you hear a, a sound like a, gosh, what would it be? Like a wet, leather cloak like slapping over the back of a chair. Where is this sound coming uh, from? It is coming from uh, over near the, uh, a cloak in a chair. Yeah. It's, <clears throat> wet cloak. Uh, it's coming from uh, near the, uh, the aperture, the craw, uh, mm. in the central base. And you can see that it is a, the, the discarded uh, sheath uh, of skin that uh, was once Kithris. Oh. Um, and then... A mess. <laughs> uh, and then it moves a couple inches across uh, the featureless stone of the floor and then uh, crystal rises up underneath it to uh, inhabit it. Like it's putting a jacket on yeah. it. Uh, <clears throat> and it fills itself uh, out to what what remains of it, um, essentially, uh, and different uh, different pieces slide up onto the structure uh, in their like arriving at their natural destination. Mm -hmm. uh, so up upon the ribs uh, slides, you know, up both legs. And then, sort of traveling over that structure, a uh, a, a dusty rib cage uh, slides up and takes hold. Um, a cloak 
uh, begins to wind out and billow. Uh, and the mouth is too wide. The cheeks themselves are uh, slit deeply. And can, give me a perception roll. No. <laughs> I rolled I'll tell you more. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's pretty good. You're going to enjoy, uh, that's like a, a cumulative 20, I think. <laughs> right, 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 right. Where's my, where's my regular set? Oh, okay, it was 19. Yeah. Yep. Sort of uh, shivering <laughs> inside the... <laughs> what would 21 get me? Yeah, yeah. Shiv- <laughs> shivering inside the uh, mouth, you can see uh, the flat, the horizontal beak. <sighs> and uh, tiny blinks of jeweled eyes sort of shuddering inside the mouth. <laughs> Gross! I, uh, I drop a toothbrush <laughs> on clattering to the ground. <clears throat> I, you, so you try to? Yeah. And as you, as you drop it, it is held in place. Oh. And you can see uh, a hand, like it's actually held in space hmm. by a hand like that you did not notice. Um, and there is also another hand holding it like higher up on the grip. Uh, so Dinar, uh, you are there in a place that you have seen before, and need a place that you lost a memory. Uh, oh, but so I'm not with Nace anymore? Yeah, you are both there oh. holding on to the same sword. Oh. And Nace is like, hey, it's mine. <laughs> So, I don't think he's dead at this point. Yeah. Like, there's so much stuff happened in, in quick succession. But yeah, no, let's go. He's, yeah, it is, it is your sword. I got my own anyway. Yeah. He's like, I just took it because I missed you. Yeah. I don't even really miss you that much anymore. <laughs> now that you're here. I haven't seen you in a couple of years. You're like, busting my balls. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, oh, yeah, then I let go. He's like, I've got a and, and what sword do you use? I've got a toothbrush. Tell me about it. It was the one that. The gift. Uh, yeah, it was the gift sword. The one that's toothbrush, but better. Yeah, now don't forget it's plus one. It's, it's got runes on it. Indeed. Yeah, that's the one I most of the time use to it. That's how you know it's good. Yeah. Oh, you, so when you're actually doing the rolls, you're actually using that one. In my mind, it's always toothbrush. No, because it's got the stats. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I always say I've used toothbrush. Oh, no, dude. It's, it's, like, when you, it's like when you roll in to Iron Forge, Damn. and it's like. You'd look like shit yeah. because you had to wear the right stats. Yeah. Um, so uh, you you spread out, and so so you have dropped that. You see this moment. You're like, I'll come back to this. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, and the, uh, so I've I've dropped that, and then with that awareness that something is going on, but my focus is not really there. I I uh, draw winter, <laughs> and uh, to the herald, I say hello, friend. <laughs> <clears throat> Ew! <laughs> that is such a gross moment. Oh my god. The the mouth opens with something like it's like a parody of delight, uh, and you can see uh, Legati emerge, and then sort of like come out, lick the air, uh, and then travel down its own body finding purchase between a rib Mm -hmm. and just traveling through itself, uh, manipulating it as the, as it approaches. Mm. Terrible. Uh, Is it everything you dreamed? (laughs) Oh, so much more. So much more. It's like you're delighted by it somehow. Yeah, in a, <clears throat> yeah, in a, like I realize, like I'm, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> you've done, you've done well. Well, not, you have, not everybody can fulfill their purpose. Well, and you have done what every parent should, which is to provide the preconditions for their child's success. This is bringing that stone here. You've suppressed the entire organism. You've pushed it completely to the side. Now the Ur reigns. And where the Ur reigns, I may reign. Hmm. 
you, the uh, the child has surpassed the father <laughs> in another way. <laughs> I've been a lot. <clears throat> do you remember what I said I would do? What I promised I would do? You would consume the father. You would consume. Who birthed you? It is still it is walking closer and closer as this happens. Hmm. I I don't move. I'm not can immediately. Can we all see this? Oh yeah, no, you, and you can all you can all play Dungeons and Dragons too. Mm. Oh my God! You don't have to just let this happen. <laughs> yeah, what were you gonna say to Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> I argue with my brother. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. I got my hand on the, my bracelet. Does he still have the coordinating oh. necklace? I. Th- yeah, I mean, if oh, yeah. if I were able to, no, you know what, I wouldn't though. Mm-mm. There's no way I would have been able to get it off. If I could not take the cloak right. of stars, then I wouldn't have been able yeah. to get it no. either. Yeah. Exactly. But the presumably the old Cthris plush uh, still has it on, right? Is that it's true. true? To, to the extent that it has a trachea. Yeah, I don't know what oh. it would do. Yeah, yeah, no, you can, you can, you have it though. There's no reason why we shouldn't have Chekhov's uh, breath play kink. Uh, happen here in the third act. <laughs> a literary classic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if you I, see a choking fetish on a mantle, <laughs> then you have to use it. I'm watching. I'm not going to pull on it, but I, I have it at the ready because I'm waiting for you to show any sign of fear. But, of course, you're not. That's the wrong thing to look for. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, are you, you're, you're looking for, like... Me not saying like ah my ally. This is where yes, the good exactly. stuff is. Like, yeah, this is Legati and your former carcass. So maybe you're <clears throat> maybe this is good for you. I don't know. No, what's this good for? The Ur is good for me. Is, I don't want this. Listen, why does the why would the Ur serve you? <clears throat> well, says, with says, I am made of her, and he he uh, just extends. Uh, one of its ghastly appendages toward the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it, yeah, the puppeteering. It's a very practical effects, yeah. dark crystal scenario. <laughs> <clears throat> it's just, I'm made of, of her bones. And if she cannot absorb the power of this pantheon, if she is pushed to the side, I may claim it. I don't want to say like, but compared to, compared to her, you are so little. For now, she was once little also. Mm. She was once a tiny crystal, a tiny piece grown on the earth, a tiny defensive instinct grown into this. Mm. And now look at what she has done. I think I would make changes. Some, some big things. <laughs> All right, sell us on it. <laughs> you know what? It's open, about location. You got five minutes. <clears throat> it's about location. <laughs> Where the heck is it? Forgive me. I'm looking, I'm looking for something. I'm forgetting. See, it's a, D&D Beyond is an incredible product. <laughs> but... What if you yourself forget the names <laughs> of the things? Can't help you there. You know what? Do I have? I do must have banish, right? I have banishment on here, don't I? Well, you used to. It already. might be it part of the. Illiterate. It might be yeah. part of the Why don't build. They just have all pictures? That's the problem. Yeah. Can't read. No, you know what? I may not have taken it. Oh, in the new configuration. In the new mm. configuration, which is a bummer. That's great news. news. Mm-hmm. That's good news. For story y'all. Wise. <laughs> yeah, story wise, that's excellent news. Yeah, this is a bunch of trash. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're never happy with your character. <laughs> Why don't you banish yourself? Ooh. I, and let me roll to intimidate. <laughs> no, I, let me, I. Uh, oh, the, this is the best part. I haven't even considered this. I can actually just use the Legati. I can use the Legati can trigger again. Use it. Yeah. Man. Yay. We'll just go, we'll go classic. So after that, like you were mentioning like this tiny seed. Yeah. And I just say, I see. And I now <laughs> move to attack. <laughs> I'm now going to strike. <clears throat> now you understand. Wow. Uh, let's three. roll initiative. Wow. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, Ligotti, you have done well. Oh, my child. 14. Do I roll for Nace? Are you going to roll for Nace? Uh, I'll do Nace. Ooh. Uh, six. 17. Same of as, as a six. six, six so 17 six, for Rosie? Six, six, six. six. Okay, yes. I'll go and then for 14. 14? And then where were you at, Cathars? I'm a six, but Amigo first. Okay. Or a New York six. New York six. <laughs> six point uh, one. <clears throat> Everyone right. else up. So you, nice. so uh, Ligotti had an 18, which is great. I almost never, like I, I think the percentage of times where I have gone last in these combats is very, very high. So, uh, yeah, this is all wrong. This is, this is, this is like a mirror of what it normally <laughs> yeah, is. Exactly, right? It's usually the nut, <laughs> and then it goes down. Well, yeah, Rosie usually. <clears throat> you know, oh, yeah, usually it's always good stuff. And the villain are at the end. <laughs> uh, so I want to talk about something uh, in particular, uh, which is part of this, and it's a mechanical thing. I'll establish the, the narrative framework for it in a moment, but if it's going to be this important, I want everybody to know what it is. Okay. So, Ligotti's control over this domain, this place in here, is absolute. The, the natural seams of physical law are playthings in this realm. Mm. Uh, and that extends all the way down to uh, counting, numerology. <laughs> okay. So, if a four ever appears on a dice. Oh my gosh. For any reason, mm-hmm. um, the entire party takes damage. <laughs> God, oh, Jerry, you monster! <laughs> That's so uh, good. This this context is um, uh, anathema. <laughs> it is not a it is not a good place. Oh. <clears throat> and so, tell me tell me how you approach uh, Legati so that I can tell you how Legati. Response approaches me. Yeah. So you have, so you've drawn winter. I've drawn. Yeah. Winter's out. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and uh, in okay. Well, I don't move for a while. Um, this is one of the places where I've never understood in D and D how like as as far as combat oh, terms, is concerned, how, how terms yeah, work like, and, and movement. I am. I guess I have moved to attack. But haven't really appreciably, like, raised my arm because I'm not going to hold my arm up for you know 32 seconds or whatever it right. is. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's very clear now that you I am strike a combat pose. Moving yeah. to strike, yes. Some kind like of fencing. Cool, yes, like, it's a combat. Draw pose. the sword. Right. Kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So it, uh, as though of a single piece with the floor, just flows toward you. Um, and a tendril of supple crystal uh, whips out behind you and tries to wrap, tries to encircle you. Mm. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, 16. <laughs> it does not work. Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> you basically just like <laughs> right, right underneath your, right underneath your feet. Uh, then it uh, the head just descends on you, uh, just like f- the, the skin flapping oh. and uh, oh. Ligotti just snapping wildly inside it. Mm. Ew. I'm it's, sorry. It's good. It's, <laughs> it's potent. This is some this is this is, this is yeah. yeah. It's pretty 16 rotten. you said? It's 16. Yeah. Okay. 16 and 19. Okay. Here we go. Gosh, I should have had you go. Uh, Shadow Chancellor, could you get me a lot more D6s? <laughs> Is that possible? The, the we, could, we could loan you some, Costco too. D6. Yeah. Would you like to collect ours? Your, your no, loyal it's, players? It's, for, for now, I'll just I'll roll a handful here. Okay. Hmm. Last time I tried to be nice at Jerry. <laughs> you don't want to touch your dice anyway. I might do Sticky. better. Yeah, uh, he's always a, candy. It's a total. <laughs> it's a total of thirty-one points. Ooh. And so these, like the Whoa. razor sharp nails, and it's just like you, you recall it 31. how you would recall it, um, but this was your hand at one point. Yeah, um, and you see it descend and just bite into your shoulder um, as Ligotti 
extends out and just mauls your neck and uh, shoulder. Incredible. Mm. Uh, Rosie Beastinger. <clears throat> yeah, right. very gross. Uh, so the first thing I do uh, is pull on that that thing. Perfect. The thing around my wrist. I will let you do that as a bonus action. Okay. So um, I think what I would like to do, how far away from this scene am I? Am I pretty close? You're close enough to move into melee combat, if that's what you're looking for. Okay. Uh, well, it may be a bonus action, but I want to do it first. Because that's the first thing yeah. she would try. She's a, she already had that action ready, so that's what she's gonna do. Is yank on that, and if it, that don't work, then I'll take my I'll take my action. Yeah. <clears throat> so you pull on it until it is, and it's on your wrist. Mm-hmm. So you pull on it tight enough that it is hurting you. Right. Uh, and it elicits a the body just begins to gurgle. Okay. Uh, like a form of communication, almost like a like a, a cry of of triumph. Oh, yeah, he's we into knew, it. We knew that was coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does he get climax or? I don't know. <laughs> I, I think there's. I have the. I have a yeah. book that covers that Volume, kind of stuff. Jerry, how much is yeah. emitted? <coughs> Whining <laughs> no, blades, pints, <laughs> ounces. What are we? I'm sorry, I asked. You know what? Let's just. <laughs> Um, so when I when I notice yeah. that has no appreciable effect on what he's doing to my yeah. flank thrust, um, then I um, I sweep the leg with the staff of the master. Nice. Hmm. Um, and I get two attacks per action. I use my bonus action, so just the two. Ch- uh, so twenty three mm-hmm. and a ten. Uh, the first one hits. Okay, so the staff of the master is going uh, right around the ankles to try to at least get him off Kathris. Oops, mm. sorry, that's the wrong dive. D8 plus four. Okay, that's nine points of damage. Nine points. Okay. Ankle damage. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. He's oh, not playing we, basketball after that. We, yeah. Oh, not for at least six weeks. No. Yeah. There's, the doctor was very clear. Yeah. <coughs> uh, Denar what's in? Um. <coughs> I go, hey everyone, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey everyone. Cool turn. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> kind of went un, unannounced. We're, we're sort of in the middle of something. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm back. It's a crazy day, huh? I, I have a, I, yeah, my brother's here. <laughs> we'll it's respond like, on our well, next turn. I brought a six pack of Sprite and uh, <laughs> half a bag of chips, so I got hungry. You see these new? Car. You see these new Mountain Dews? They got these code reds. <laughs> so what are you guys up to? Right. I will reply on my yeah, next turn. No. Um, <laughs> so Nate, Nate I, says. Nate says. We fight in things like this a lot. Yeah, these are my friends. This is what I was doing. So he said, which, which, one, which one should I hit? Uh, There's th- a lot of weirdos in here. <laughs> That's this, true. Yeah. That's fair enough, Nice. The snake filled uh, bag. Okay. And then I go, <laughs> Got it. I go, Nace, watch this. Nace. Yes. Nace, watch, watch me go. Watch me go. <laughs> Nace, watch me go. Watch. Me watch. You're not watching. <laughs> Uh, and I'll do uh, spirit guardians. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. You bring in those. Bring you bring in those tapering. Yeah, I bring out my my little babies. Um, and I will. Here, uh, I would like you to give me a wisdom. Okay. You say, let's see. You waste. You say wisdom saving throw. Mm-hmm. Or a check. That's different. Saving throw is a different stat. Yeah. 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 We want the, that, that's where you can add the plus. That's more of a reactive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you have to, or they have to make a wisdom oh, save. Oh, they do. I, they I'm, do. I mean for you. I would okay. like you to roll a dice and add your wisdom up. Oh, all right. And, okay. This is separate. No, okay, it's not, this isn't a saving throw. No. Okay. A six. Just straight up nothing for whiz? Mm-mm. Yeah. It's, it, it's, that makes sense. It's funny though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I think it's great. Um, <clears throat> okay, so you uh, you bring them out, yeah, I, and as you are, it's like as as you draw them forth, they have like a angular, uh, like shot through with purple and red appearance, mm-hmm. and then as they travel in their bounding joyous arcs, as they uh, as they whirl around the black stone. 
it's almost like they're purified. It's like a car wash oh. for hmm. prancing uh, elk. Huh. Well, and that was the other thing I was going to say. I get to designate what, because I don't know what in this room is, you know, potentially a threat. So yeah. these these are the parties designated as safe. Everything yeah. else is everything else. Everything is else fucked. is yeah. Tables, chairs, or anything. Yeah, exactly. So I it's want all just... it's chipper shredder. Yeah. Nice. Absolutely. Um, Okay, cool. And it hits on on their turns. Yeah. Right? Um, an affected creature speed is halved. So, mm-hmm. and then uh, wisdom saving throw failed save three d eight, radiant. Three d eight radiant. Okay. Uh, oh, no, wisdom fifteen. Do they still take half damage on a successful? Half damage. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's good. Mm. <clears throat> so. All right. Smooth. So yeah. That's as, what I do. As, as I do, you 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 pull them out, and their appearances is, is shifted in this place, hmm. or because of where Vars Malus rests. In yeah. the sarcophagus, but the stone itself uh, purifies them as they as they near it. Um, hmm. uh, this is a great stone. What's Nace do? Oh, exactly right. He's watching. <coughs> Does he clap? <laughs> is he impressed? Yeah. Is he impressed? <laughs> Let's see. Does the clap help Capital H in the uh, you know, DD? <laughs> no, I will be. <laughs> I'll be devastated no. if he's not impressed. No, <laughs> if they no, if they. If, if they, if they, I will uh, take damage. As, as they just psychic, psychic damage. damage. Yeah. Um, as they're, as they're like sort of leaping around, uh, uh, by him, he he looks over at you, with his sort of brow furrowed, mm-hmm. and like, kind of like points at him with the. He kind of points at him with the thumb, like, this you? Yeah. He's like, hey guys, and he like he tries to pet one real quick, <laughs> um, and he says, up oh, in a second, switches the sword from hand to hand, um. And you, you, and you can tell th- it's exactly as you remember. Yeah, it's never two hands. It's the the sword is always bouncing from hand to hand, um, and it's just it's like a whip. Yeah, for him, it's it's used with absolute ease. Well, he so, was always the yeah. best combatant, <clears throat> like in the whole place. Uh, he he thinks that this sort of thing is he's just going with it. He just he's just this is a lot of stuff, and he's going with it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and so he he brings it down uh on wow. Mm-hmm. It's my big bro. Yeah, he he brings it down on this uh Kithris parody album. <laughs> Jesus, niece. Uh for 32. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and he uh he Brings it down, and then he like he like waves you in. Mm. Um, uh, Walnut Dongrass. Oh no, Kithris Ground. Sorry, I missed. It. Yes, yes. As a bonus action, mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna send a Hexblade's Curse mm. at uh, the Herald. You're gonna enjoy a full minute. <laughs> it's like the magic Rebel. fingers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you put the dime in. Yeah, it's like being at the airport, getting one of those. Oh yeah. Now, uh, DM or other DM, yeah, or other DM, like Ryan, <laughs> you as well. DM. I haven't done it. I'm the yeah. only one. You know, so like <laughs> get in, get on board. So you got hex blades, curse, but then maddening hex. But that's another bonus action because this says as a bonus action. Yeah, yeah. And then this one is also as you a can't bonus action. Bonus right. right. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. So you got your you cursed. Yeah. Which, which does what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, um, it's going to be a, a crit on a 19 or a 20. Which is yum. Uh, and it's a plus four bonus to damage rolls. And 15 HP for me if it's dead. So wow. pretty, pretty great. So, <laughs> so I'm feeling good. You gain a plus four da- damage, but we don't. Right. Okay. It's okay. just yeah. me who's Dan damage. Mad. But this, it seems worth going into the particulars oh, yeah. of this hex. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And its application. This coist. It's a it's a lush hex, and then I'm also gonna do. Uh, uh, we're in proximity, right? Thoroughly. We're, yeah, very much. I uh, the the hand that is not on winter. I, I I just find a spot in my in my old home, <laughs> <laughs> and 
and uh, I cast Cone of Cold. Now, whoa! <laughs> you find a spot in your old home? I was imagining like getting up into the rib cage. Yeah. And blasting up. Let's, okay. Let's I was thinking, the... I was taint, yeah. Yeah, yeah but well, we could do too. that. I was just going to say, where where was Cthulhu's most ticklish? Wherever I could... a little could... spot actually back here? <laughs> if I could find purchase, that's where the cold goes. Okay? You get it? Oh, <laughs> so you're so you're essentially delivering the point of origin is like inside the thing's rib cage. Yeah, I mean it's right on me, and it's not that structured. I mean, unless the the uh, crystals are causing a lot of shape. I no, I, 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 this is this is how it should be. Yeah, we should be telling a story together. So, so uh, that's going to be unfortunately a Constitution saving throw. You beat mm-hmm. it if you beat a seventeen. Oh, well, let's see. Could work. You might. You might. He do. He do very well. <laughs> it's not half damage. Uh, it's half damage. Yeah, most yeah. of those classic spells are all half damage. Yeah. But so. what if I make you re-roll it? Ooh, delicious. I'll make you re-roll it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It'd be funny if I, he's like, I no, like he to. said it, and then you said it, so you have to re-roll it, and then yeah. lose, and then next one you win. <laughs> so shoot. Damn it. Okay. That was a good investment. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good. Do you need, yeah. you need eight? No, I need those eights. That was it for me. For yeah. this episode. <laughs> That's all you got? Check it out. Okay, I'll just roll these uh, four times then. Okay. He says eight. Eight. Now, does the, the four crest count on damage dice too? Like any time there's a four rolled? I mean, that's what I thought. Okay. But, oh, really? But, I mean, what? Hold on a second. Let's keep track. Okay, I yeah. got two more of these. Uh, it's uh, seven. Seven, seven plus yeah. 16. And 13. that's 13. Good lord. Where? Where? 36. 36. 36. 36. But we all take damage. We didn't roll any fours. Oh. He didn't roll a single four. I was oh, just checking. Oh, you didn't even mean four, fours on a d4 and all that? That's rotten. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what I'm hoping is for... dirty. I'm hoping for big heels. I'm hoping for a lot of d6s. Okay, that's 36 um, plus the uh, hex blade wetness. Right? So that's plus four. Yeah. So that's 40. Yeah. 40 Jeez. cold. Lord. Okay. 40 cold. Yeah, so it... This gale... Uh, erupts inside this place, and just that that the the frigid wind just reverberates off the inside of the structure. The cloak of stars just trailing behind it. Um, chunks of uh, your former self just carried out along back behind it. Uh, Ms. Dongrass. I would love to play this game. I want you to play. Okay. Um, so the last time we were in this place, in this Indeed. cathedral, um, a lot, not Happened. the last time, the yeah. first time we were in this place, uh, mm-hmm. when it was just Catherine and Walnut, um, she did something, uh, and it was the only thing she could do to like cause damage to the place. Um, oh, she so flipped out! In this moment of panic, and looking at this, imposter she looks at it and she says um she says to herself not to you know who knows if anyone can hear it but she says you're not fit to wear that skin and she turns into her treant form Whoa! Um, and uh that i have on my auxiliary D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah multi multi-phase my auxiliary D beyond thing because it's a homebrew thing i made it's a um, dual screen experience you, you made like, a homebrew thing well you can make homebrew creations within D beyond and save them but this is Alyssa's account and this is my account i need to put them together oh yeah this is your nemesir tree form my nemesir tree and form yes. um so as you will remember, it is a siege monster, and so it deals double damage. Oh, oh yes. Um, and it also has a multi attack, so it does two slam it attacks. Did. Um, okay. Siege monster does it to structures. To structures or objects. Cool. Hmm. Cool. So I would consider this an object because it's the, made of crystal. The black altar or the cathris? Um No, sh- she's focusing on the cathris. Okay. I was under the impression that only he saw the black altar. Uh, <coughs> the, the, sword, the sword it. struck it. It's definitely there. Oh, it's there. Yeah, but I don't know. If, we don't know whether or not we're supposed to be hitting it. No. It I mean, she up. would just panic and hit the whole Sangwilith. Yeah. But, um, just try to tear it apart. Right. Uh, but she's going to attack the imposter. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, battery may last until 6.15, so let's, <laughs> let's get going on this. Um, so that is a uh, 14. 
That does not hit. I'm going to take advantage on this next one, then. Okay. Um, that looks jack. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, stop. It's smooth. Um, okay, a good, 19. Good. Hit. Yes. Or a better than 19. Okay. Yeah, um, that, that second one crashes in. Great. Uh, D10. 10. 10. Whoa! 11. Mm. 28. That's very, very good. Nice. Um, God, and, and you've made the math so easy, Walnut. Mm. I love it. <laughs> Fantastic. So, it's so clean now. I like the when Walnut turns into her triant form, I was thinking about the sounds of that like creaking, <clears throat> ripping wood, yeah. like the, the sound of, of yeah. branches. Well, I was imagining it also that like now that like this would be like the culmination of her like understanding what nature is in space to like a druid and it's like it is almost looks like the leaves like have starlight in them and it's like <gasps> this like cosmically nature bound. Thing. Yeah. That's my headcanon. Can I, can I add some headcanon as well? Sure. Well, I would say that if it represents like her realizing that the servants of Maliki and Malith are, are the nature out here, mm -hmm. um, the Nemezir is also where the EPA grows its weapons. Mm -hmm. And so imagine, imagine Walnut uh, like stretching and, and manifesting this form, but imagine her just draped with weapons. Oh, yeah. Mm. Like just hanging from every branch. Yeah. is just swords, <gasps> pikes. That's cool. That'll yes. work. I think that'll work. <clears throat> right, so that is the nut. Uh, we're heading back up uh, to uh, Lagoti. Yeah. And uh, so these are this, the, the, first, the first sweeping club-like fist just hits the ground, cracks, shards of crystal flying around, uh, and then before it has a chance to, uh, before it has a chance to taunt you even, the right just comes straight over, mm -hmm. uh, and then like it stops, like it is able to, is able to even stop this great fist, but all of the damage is absorbed in the structure mm -hmm. of this thing traveling down through the feet and cracking out uh, below the foe. <clears throat> so uh, there is uh, a great cry from uh, Lagodi. There's many mouths uh, erupting through the flesh, uh, joining in song, um, and it is answered by uh, it is answered by a sort of a flying symbology of angelic creatures hmm. that uh, appear inside the Sanguilith uh, below through the aperture hmm. uh, and join the fray from below. Oh, no. And uh, Lagodi raises, uh, raises a hand uh, in a small effortless gesture and a thicket of 15 foot spikes just erupt below these angelic creatures, mm. uh, draining them absolutely and pulling them down through into the crystal of the floor itself. Um, A bummer. <clears throat> so it is <laughs> going to, uh, it is going to go completely nuts uh, <laughs> on Cthris. Just go fucking Didn't ham. You want them? Yeah. Um, this time the constriction hits. Now, before <clears throat> it takes root. Yes. I want you to know that as a reaction. Yeah. Gonna, you, I just want to let you know. I just want to know that, uh, yes. Yeah. It did hit. No, I'm going to yeah. do a tomb of Levistus. Oh, tell me about this tomb. You go ahead and you go ahead and grab, try to grab. Yeah. The second that lash touches my tender skin. It do. It do mm. touch. I'm immediately entombed in ice. Mm. And I gain a hundred... Uh, Temporary. Yeah, I gained 100,000 <laughs> uh, levels. <laughs> uh, this is a great tomb. It's a yeah. good spell. Dude, what's it going to take to get you into a tomb tonight? It's an incredible tomb. Just a little damage. That's all it took. Uh, yeah, I got 100 temporary HP, and uh, Jesus. And then I'm just going to hang out in here for uh, uh, until the end of my next turn. 
but I, I can't do nothing. Okay. But I'm just hanging out. Okay, so. Just watching. Yeah, so this, yep. so awesome. at, as, as it uh, begins to swing around uh, from the base and like coil around you, like four or five inches from you, it's encased in ice. And the, the tendril is just right in front of your face, basically just like doing its absolute best to get through this. Uh, and then it begins to, uh, Lagodi shrieks mm. uh, outside and begins to tear into the ice. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's uh, got to contend with the. Oh, yeah, if you're not. If you're not okay. can, you, can you roll the, the dice? You mean to do the wisdom save? Oh, no, I'll do the wisdom save, but oh. you should roll the damage the dice. That's more fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. 3d8? Yeah. Do you want some d8s? Uh, real quick. Two, six, nine. Uh, bwah, 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 bwah. Yay! So, congratulations. Yeah, Great. it's You don't take nine. <laughs> <laughs> you take four. Uh, I'm down. Your servant, Lagati, has uh, offered you a boon, Shadow Council. Uh, what do we got over here? He's still working for somebody. What did you give us? This is your servant? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. What are we enjoying? Yeah, what we got today? What kind of precious Ooh. treasures? We got some scent. Oh. We got some dust from the future. Red aluminum? Aluminium. Aluminium. <laughs> Transparent red <laughs> aluminum. Computer. Amethyst. Computer. Yeah. Oh, that's auspicious because it's red, ruby red. In the same Careful with those rolls. If you get a four, we're going to take it. I've never been clear whether the same list is amethyst or red. It depends. I think it's like Alexandrite, where it's like on some, oh, sometimes I see, I see. it's one, mm-hmm. sometimes it's the other. It's that's like the pretty. internal planes. Um, so, uh, it, uh, the, it, it is just like, uh, it's, 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 it's just batting away uh, friendly deer while uh, doing its absolute level best to shred a hundred hit points worth of solid ice. So while you're entombed in the ice, basically, you don't get to do stuff? Is that no, how it is? No, yeah, I can't do anything. Yeah. At, and it's I'm incapacitated. It's half the speed it normally works. Yeah. Just saying. Keep that in mind. Speed is <sighs> just this. I know. I so that's the equivalent. Being silly. That's the equivalent that's of me slow. having two hundred hit points then. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Yeah. It's half speed. Yeah. No. Since it's doing half speed, yeah, you get. Let's two. make it simple. So we'll double all of my stats. Yeah. And then we'll, so you just keep yours the oh, same. Thank no, you. I agree. And it then really I, helps. I'll manage the math. Why don't you just that. round everything up to twenty? Okay. We don't have to worry about it. Okay. <laughs> and times ten, just add a zero. Put a zero on that. It makes it simple. <laughs> Straightforward. Forty-three points of damage. Okay. From the ice. Exactly. The ice is now bloody. Exactly. So there's just eager. <laughs> oh, <no. clears throat> just it, it is. Uh, Thank you. Scraping is is just scraping its way uh, through this uh, shell. Next up is Rosie Bee Stingers. I. That's what it says. Um, I immediately turn to uh, Walnut in her triumph form, and I climb up her very agilely, like oh, a this is monkey. great. Ooh. Um, and as I do so, I notice that there are weapons. Dangling from your branches, which I've <laughs> never seen in your triant form. I, mean, I think you've only been triant once or twice before, right? They'd be green too, right? Yeah, they'd, they'd they're be like green. The foremother is one right? of these weapons. Yeah. Okay. So that we know two things: they, they're green, they're made of green glass, uh, and they are subject to blade words. Those are the things we know. Ooh. Okay. So uh, I climb up the tree to a, a branch. Do you have a face as a triant? I imagine there Triants is usually, some yeah. horrific, like. Mask. M- mask of, nice. yeah. It's like walnut speechers with like the feather, but just kind of. It's, it's like the barky. ring. Yeah, yeah. but barky. Okay, so I, I climb up, avoiding your face, but I, I sort of like monkey my way out onto a branch near you, mm-hmm. and um, I reach for a short sword, which mm-hmm. is a weapon that I'm proficient in. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice, just picking. It's yeah. A, it's a plus one. Oh, uh, cool. But I, I reach for it and I say, um, Granddaughter, do you permit it? You just hear like a creaking noise. <laughs> Take that as a yes. <laughs> and I, I pluck one of these short swords it's from fresh. the branches. It says yes in apple. <laughs> in, in apple? Yeah. One apple for yes, two apples for no. <laughs> but yeah, now I, I have, I have a, a, a short sword that resembles foremother, but it's a little smaller, less, less ornate. Um, and I, um, I, I hold it. Uh, and I've, I, it's been a very long time since I fought with a sword. Oh, yeah. Mm. Maybe on purpose. Yeah. Um, 
but from Walnut's branches, um, if you if if this isn't too much movement, I want to come jump off of there. Come flying out of this tree, Just out of the leaves, with this sword Good. right onto the back of Kithris's neck. I love it. I love it. Adjudicate it. Yeah. Adjudicate it like a plus two. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll take advantage. You should. This is dope. It's time. It's time. All right. So it's going to be a seventeen. That hits. Yes. Okay. Um, how much damage does short sword do? D six usually. D six. Um, I can tell you what my thing does. Oh, it it why no tell me yeah it's a D six plus four. D six plus four. Okay. Um, it's probably your strength bonus. So my strength is nothing. Um, but I will do a D six plus four anyway. Because it's. Awesome. What's like a green destiny type thing? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, uh, as as I, I come down, I crash down with this short sword, and I've seen you talk to your sword, but I don't know what you say. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I've ever heard it, but I, I know that I'm supposed to say something, um, and I say, get him, girl. <laughs> and I strike, and it's seven points of damage. <laughs> it's not about that. It's not about it that. It's it isn't about, about the damage. Uh, let, now, uh, Shadow Council, Mary Lee, please you. I have been told by the Shadow Chancellor that it's actually the time for the break. So we're going to do a break, and then we're going to come right back, uh, and then we're going to play more Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, don't go nowhere. <laughs> Hello. Uh, <clears throat> this is Jeffrey K. Horcrims. Welcome back to Tessie Teams. Uh, when last we saw our heroes, uh, Rosie Beestinger, in what I feel is an inspired play, uh, plucked a green glass sword from uh, her granddaughter, Walnut Dongrass, and then jumped out of a tree uh, to stab a evil facsimile in the neck. Uh, that's the sort of game that we run uh, here yeah. uh, on this show. Uh, now, uh, Dinar Botsen, uh, do you want to go first or do you want Nace to go first? Um, uh, I, Dinar will go first. Um, I will... Um, so, in Dinar, all of the royal family um, train as paladins. That's it's true. It's only the royal family that are paladins and they're all in service to Vars Malus. Um, and they all train together. So um, I want to uh, really have Denard uh, gel with uh, Nace. He's, he's not had a chance to fight with any of his siblings or anyone from yeah, his to get clan the, in Yeah, to a get while. those combos. Um, and do a, uh, in a, like a coordinated uh, double beam attack. <laughs> With their uh, uh, breath weapon, mm. amazing. <laughs> Which is a very common tactic. Yeah, uh, know this. <laughs> Everyone does. Wait, 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 listen. I will. I will grant it. But you have to give me the name that they call it. <gasps> oh, like when they teach you. No, it's like it, yeah, it's like no. They just like bark out dumb alpha formation. It's like uh, this has got to be like. Uh, <laughs> it's like a it football like, playbook. Or yeah, something. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe forks tongue. Green Missouri Devil's yeah. Rainbow. Yeah. The Devil's Rainbow. That's we'll go with good. that. That's good. All right. Uh, um, and the whole crux of this attack is just that the the more that you can do, like towards the center, like a, a spoke. Um, uh, I hadn't thought about if anyone else does it in a cat vomiting way. Let's yeah. say he does. Let's say that's where you learned it. Yeah. What if he does? <laughs> I don't know he learned it. What if he does it in a very noble? I was gonna say he. Way. I, no, I think it's better that actually he doesn't like go like. Bleh, bleh. Yeah, no, no, nothing he, so. Yeah. Debasing is that. Maybe a little. There's like maybe one, and then it's it's not like in a <laughs> reoccurring. Like, <laughs> you know, my ex taught me that when you're drunk and you have to throw up, that if you scream, it takes control of it. So maybe Nice just screams. <laughs> he screams what through you, it. What are you saying? All right, yeah. <laughs> but like an impressive scream. Yeah. It would yeah, just like, sound like. Wah, right. wah, 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 wah. <laughs> it does kind of sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we can make this happen. Yeah, so this, this is the time. Yeah, so that's what they do. They they, they, do, the, they do the go. devils. <laughs> they, it's like calling out a like a backyard play. In <laughs> yeah, football. exactly. Like, and then just you go, call mm-hmm. devils rainbow. Yep. And then uh, he he and takes he sneaks in and he's like, what? Uh, so your pose is the classic uh, dinar pose. No, it's like do do two it right? distinct. <laughs> Visuals of this, where yeah. on one side Nace is just like gears up anime style, like mm, oh yeah, no, and then the other is like, like Dinar, <laughs> hands on hands knees. on knees, <laughs> like getting it ready, like bent, lurched, cat back, like like you only aim <laughs> it when it's coming, <laughs> not before. 
Yeah. yeah, but it's but it has to like the camera has to like pan yeah. back and forth. Yeah, and then it's just and like then, anime uh, flex. No, exactly, exactly. Ah, like, and then like, it's a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Nace has got lots of yeah. tears. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Nace is like, just let him go. Yeah, Nace like arm forward, <laughs> one arm forward, and then the sword like back behind him. Um, <laughs> and in, in my concept, uh, at least, I didn't have descriptions of this type of stuff. I think of Nace as having something like a, almost like a Triceratops ridge. Like it would look very patrician, like favorite son sort of like be like, oh, he's got a little crown, type, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's he's ready for it, uh, and so. Uh, just that the flaps unfold uh, in the back, and it's a pristine beam-like jet. Yeah, uh, it's it's not this. Yeah, his it's is something else. Very targeted. No, uh, absolutely. So let's. Uh, it, it just it happens, as I recall, right? Yeah, it just happens. It's just a, it's a area effect attack. Five by thirty line. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, as much as possible too like this is oh no it's about focus yeah 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 i'll, I'll adjudicate it on the back end for a damage. all right uh 3d6 mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you're making the same sounds as you roll <laughs> uh was that six i wasn't even looking okay, what's, so it was shitty five. was it five <laughs> Oof, it's even worse nace did quite well Okay, um, that's good. <laughs> so we we were able to. So we're on. So no, you're 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 above par. Yeah, like you're way above par, uh, and it just it basically just dumps, uh, caustic like soupy. Yeah, like, like rich. Campbell's. Yeah, bean and bacon. Uh, Marty. Yeah, sponsored by <clears throat> Campbell's. Yeah, sponsored by Campbell's. Campbell's send us free stuff. They're, yeah, they're exactly. good people. Please, we're ready. I'll eat, uh, I'll no, eat so bean it, and bacon it, all day. <coughs> I'll do this once an episode. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, it's uh, uh, just suffusing, like finding its way underneath, uh, underneath the flesh mm. uh, for a grand total of 29 points of damage. Burning off wow, that. Wow, nice, nice. <coughs> Burning yeah. off that Kathris suit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Getting ready. Kathris uh, drought. Sugar water. Yeah. Oh my god. Hot cheese. Bless Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Bless you. So, uh, given that this thing, given that this uh, Toma La Vie is, is uh, I. Uh, you can do nothing. I can't do anything. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it uh, melts away at the end of my next turn, which is this. Yeah. So, I'm just going to hang out. You're going to stay yeah. cool? Stay cool. Keeping it frosty? Yeah. Chilling out? No. And keep going. Yeah. I don't know. Are there more? I wanted to get them. Yeah. No. There's a, there's a lot more. Cool party. Uh, bicycle. Kathos on the rocks. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Kathos on the one. rocks. Yeah. Kathrisical. You know why? That's very good. You know why I don't like puns is because I can't come up with any right now. I got nothing. <laughs> so yes, those are all great. Uh, I'm just copying Mr. Freeze lines. From so uh, moving over to uh, <laughs> Walnut. So around the, just sort of at the edge of your awareness <coughs> there is a source of rage and um what's the right term like a like a demand for justice mm -hmm. okay. that uh it's impossible not to absorb it okay um and to your left, you can see two hooves uh, connect with the sort of flat, bare glass of the floor. Oh. Um, <clears throat> and you see... A centaur. No, no, no. You see on, a, uh, on an elk in the raiment of uh, what must be a traditional, maybe what it's based on, um, uh, Maliki has joined the fight. Whoa. What? What? Um, wow. Smash Brothers screen. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 I have three more of these. Is she on yeah. a unicorn? Uh, this is this is an elk. Oh, it's an elk. She's on an elk. Okay. Yeah. Um, does she look great? Does she look great for a fight. She, it, she looks terrifying. Nice. Great. Mm. Perfect. Like she looks like she is. She looks like she is here 
to right or wrong. I love it. Um, so with uh, Miliki here, um, I feel emboldened. Yes. To use advantage Zesty. on both of my rolls. <laughs> yeah. So you can just take oh, just to smash gonna, this thing. Uh, yeah, I want to put an end to this the, the, thing. This the false thing. This imposter in yeah. front of me. Um, and then I'm going to turn my attention to all of these tombs. Um, but for right now, I'm going to do a multi attack. And <clears throat> well, here, so she'll, so we'll, 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 we'll have her kneel, like kneel down, like charge in, kneel down with the uh, antler plate. Oh yeah. And just fling it like the way a, a cruel animal plays with prey for sport. Oh my god, our own fastball special, just finally. Dripping on with, yes. with. So let's do the first damage here. Just a mess. Maliki yeah, rolls well. It's a wet mess. Maliki rolls in the well. Um, so, so she has just flung it up in front of you, and like she and the elk, like crying in unison. Um, so I will try to smack it down, like out of the air into the ground. Um, nice. Oh yeah. I took advantage. So that you is did. a nineteen, which hits. But I'm just gonna roll it. You do hit. Yeah. Not a nineteen. Um, and then again. Oops. Come on. Whoop. Oh, bomber. What are you looking for? That was a um, 14. Okay. Just under. Okay. She'll back you up. Um, so I go to hit, hit it down. Actually, I'm going to spend four to reroll that last one. Oh, you can. Jeez. Yeah. It's time. My ult. Big spender. This is the time. We'll do nothing. Wait, so. and those squirrels are not required here. Ah! <laughs> Vegas. Man. <laughs> Vegas ads. Wasn't it D10s? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank Thanks. God. And don't worry, I got you. Thanks. <laughs> Much better. There we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so it's uh, 12 plus 3, so 15, so 30. And 30. Oh, wow. Dang. That's amazing. Uh, Thanks for the help. That was going to be really abysmal. <laughs> that was going to be like 8 damage <laughs> with those D8s. Uh, so you swing uh, in the air uh, and just catch it and maintain it. Uh, and then off of uh, her shoulder, a uh, javelin the size of a tree uh, is hurled nice. Nice. Um, and catches it. And it's is she this, huge? She's gigantic. Oh, incredible. Like, no, I, I, should, I should have emphasized that. I guess I could see it and I should have made sure that everybody knew. I just I pictured like a regular sized elk and like a very lithe, terrifying. No. I she was like she's, three feet tall. That's what I pictured. Comically large. Okay. okay. Like like cosmic in import. Stretch and skew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, it's a, but it's not like weird. Like the ratio is it's like click the maintain ratio. Yeah, you got whole shift. You gotta click yeah. the little. Yeah. Chain. Don't yeah don't have like the long head and then no. right. Um, so that's how it went. Uh, let's see. So that was the walnut dawn grass and then let's see Lagodi and then when we come back to bad guy that's from the next room. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so. How many more hit points do you have on that thing? On this thing, oh, I mean, gone. it's gonna be yeah. At this point, it's now. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, marvelous! Yeah. Okay, so now, so, so now it's melted away. Yeah, I'm go now ahead you're and just wet. It. Now I'm left with my own, my classic scent. It's just a damn, but with like, <laughs> but with a flooded basement, little extra Uh-oh. hint. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think maybe like a literal like, yeah. <laughs> like a just a gross game room. Okay, smell. Oh, <laughs> so not what I thought, but like, so oh. it. It uh, <laughs> it casts its awareness around for prey uh, and manifests its full vigor. Uh, what's your uh, armor class, Rosie B. Stinger? Eighteen. Oh. Eighteen. Uh, it the uh, sixteen on the dice, so I still hit. Um, I know. Uh, no one's happy about it. Least of all me. That's a lot of dice you're rolling in there. That's I know. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just for fun. <laughs> it's just for fun. It's actually just one big dice. No, it's not. Um, 12, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, plus... Oh, that's a lot of dice, too. It's 21 like plus 19, so that's easy. That's easy math. Yeah, except now I am where, where, extremely dead. Where are you next to me? Like, really? You didn't shitty. have 30 HP? I had 31 to HP. Start? Are you... So where, you're, you're where, close, where? You're, yeah, you're all in melee. Oh. But he I'll tank it. 40, right? <clears throat> I'll tank it. 30. How much did you just roll? 21 plus 19. So 21 oh. in one attack. 
it's 40. And then 19. 40, four zero. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I had 32 hit points missing from a, a, an attack last turn, mm. and we have not rested. I'm tanking it. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, sorry. <laughs> so you took all of it? Yeah. What was that the number? Is 40. 40 total. <laughs> Whatever. I can take that. Do it again. <sighs> Wait, okay, so we'll play this out. Yeah, I want to see it. Because that's this, a lot. This has happened, yeah. Um, and that's not even all their attacks. He wipes his vomit at his mouth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a vomity mouth. I no, I always like it when he he does this and the person doesn't know. Yeah, cool. <laughs> We've done this a couple times with Walnut. We're just getting stabbed. Walnut's like, doesn't even hurt. Like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, I think he would do this, um, but like really try to get Nace's attention. <laughs> I'm oh, a, cool. I'm a good. I'm a, a good, good boy. Paladin. I'm a good boy. I'm a good paladin and I'm a good boy. Watch Aww. this. <laughs> As you take a massive attack, and that will oh thing. there we go you got hit damage. It is honestly yeah. Okay. And then and beg for his brother's <laughs> approval as he does it. Yeah. Do you as like he, it? As he rolls over, just <laughs> in the vomit everywhere, just he, rolling around. He he puts a he he gets that um that party bro hand right in the small of the back like. You okay? Yeah, hold my hair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just, just doing what I do. I'm just being a good boy. Okay. Just so saving lives. I'm a good boy. <laughs> saving lives, being a good boy. Uh, you let me know. <clears throat> he uh, uh, lashes out with another savage. Ligotti uh, uh, reaches out a full three feet uh, from the neck. Mm. Uh, to strike at you, Kafris. Okay. Uh, for ten points. Okay. I'll take uh, it. And it is now going to attempt to constrict uh, Walnut Dongrass. <gasps> Try it. The uh, whole thing. The entire mm. Walnut wow. Dongrass. It will shock you <gasps> to learn what my AC is. What is it? Twelve. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. No, the only question. So, do you in your in your homebrew thing? Do you have we? What size? He big. Oh. Yeah. Um, is it monstrous or large? Little, it's just large. Okay. Then okay, I was just going to say. Large is okay. Well, for large me. Large is pretty big. Large is yeah, large is great. Hey, large I would is, say large is large. Large yeah. is, yeah, absolutely. So, but I'm saying that this constrict only works on large or smaller. Um, so it wraps uh, uh, around your trunk and branches <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, this... Uh, Gruesome barbed tentacle. I'm Ligotti and I'm here to say. <laughs> you love fruity pebbles in a major way? I got barbed tentacles <laughs> in a major way. Uh, 21 points. Uh oh. How much HP do I got? Oh. How much? Yeah, go how ahead. much you got? 21 points. I got enough. And then uh, uh, as it begins to. Uh, Truly close around, mm -hmm. uh, it begins to secrete a burning uh, resin that deals an additional 12 points. Whoa. You hear an intense creaking. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, 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 it's creaking intensifies. Oh. <laughs> you hear the branches like whine. Oh no. But you stay as a treant? You stay don't as a pop treant. out? Okay. Stay as a treant. Uh, that's Lagodi. Uh, Rosie Bistanger. Uh, did he take the. Your damage. Please, yeah. please roll, and I will roll my save, which I make. What is that? I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. What is it? 38. 38. Boop. Four. Boop. Eight. Boop. And seven. It's uh, save. He rolled a four. He did roll a four. Uh, everyone takes five points. Ow. Oh my oh. god, no! Oh, I admit it. Sorry, I'm an arc. I admit it. <clears throat> so there's a... It, but he takes a 19. Yeah. So there is an echo... So wait, how much did we take? Did you save? Five. I saved. It was, if I saved, do I take any? Yeah, you it's half, right? Half, yeah. yeah. Perfect. That's great because the math is so easy. Oh you get it, it Jared. You love math. <gasps> math is so easy. It's definitely not yeah. true. Uh, not for me. Um, so, <clears throat> so yeah, just some echo, uh, some echo of the pain inflicted on it, uh, just travels out uh, to every member of the party. Uh, next, it is Rosie Bissonnier. Okay. The hook. The things that have just happened to me are, I plucked a sword, yeah. I slammed Cthulhu. You slice. As I did that, uh, Maliki. Yeah, player? exactly, exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're you're flung. Yeah. Uh, do, do you want to maintain that you have held on somehow? No, I, okay. I've jumped off. Get away. No, I've jumped off, but 
Don't be my, part of it. In my in my estimation, this action was all like synced up with with uh, Meliki yeah. appearing, and Kathris, uh, the the corpse Kathris, the undead looking Kathris attacked me. I took no damage, so I'm like looking at this blade that I've plucked <laughs> from Walnut, like <laughs> that protects me from all yeah. things, from all harm. Yeah, and then I take that five points of damage, and I'm like, that's not nearly enough damage for that attack, so I still feel like you're up. I'm, I'm emboldened. You feel like you're ready to bang, you're ready to gamble. Yeah, I'm, I'm banging hard. <laughs> um, and so I, uh, I turn, I, I hear Walnut creaking in distress, and I start to, I lash out at whatever part of Ligati is, um, it has restricted yeah. Walnut. Like I'm, I'm hacking at that with the, the blade. I also, my Staff of the Master is a versatile weapon, <laughs> which means, <laughs> You can use it. I can one. use it one-handed. <laughs> okay. So, that's okay. <laughs> no, I love it. I, I, I support it. So that, hold it down down near the end yeah. and just really get the whip. Yeah. So that's. Oh, I like that. So I turn it around like a keyblade, <laughs> and so Oof. the long end is out, and I, I go whap slice against Legati. We'll I like see, it. See if that works. Uh, and, and Legati, Legati, there's no fairy fire or anything on him, right? Mm -mm. I don't get no, no, on him, sadly. All right. Okay, so 26. Yowza. Yum. With those staff and master. And then, And you know, you already know what it is. You already know what it is. You You love it. See team dice thing that you can build yourself. With no help. Some assembly required. Yeah, but you'll like it. You'll have fun. Yeah. It's like Ikea. All right. This is a floorable. Staff and master. Hits for what? Because I'm using it one handed, so it's 1d6 plus 4. Uh, okay, so that's 10 points of damage from the Staff of the Master, and then this, the um, short sword was the same, which is a 5, uh, but it's crit, so it's double. Mm -hmm. So what happens here is that the Staff of the Master hits, and it does pretty good, you know. It's fine. But then the sword comes down and just like it, it is, it is a it's massive perfect. hit. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> whoa, it's been sitting on this technology. This you gotta is keep amazing. It. You gotta keep it. Um, and then um, I'm gonna bring the uh, the sword arm that elbow down twice <laughs> for my bonus attacks. Nice. Which are two quick jabs. Yeah, two quick little jabs. It's gotta it's gotta let my nut go. Okay, it's a 23 and a 17. Do either of those hit? Yeah, yes. they both hit. Okay, great. Mm. So eight. Plus eight, 16 points of damage with the, with the pointy little elbow. Man, so it's elbow. been good. We know, that they, we know that they can be sharp. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. So that's um, 10 plus 10 plus ten. Eight, 8 plus 8. So 36, 36 points of damage. Easy piece. Yeah. When's it, when it gets high, you know, when yep. it gets up there. Yep. <clears throat> All right, that is exquisite. Uh, Dinar, Blitzen, uh, and, and <clears throat> Sons. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't get my knife sharpened anywhere else. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna just uh, table talky this a little bit. How hurt are you? I finally got you. Uh, I have 17 points left. You're, you're more than, not more than half hurt, right? Uh, I'm way more than half hurt. Okay. And you are too, right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I think we all you are. All are <laughs> right? really you guys bad. have been in other battles and stuff. Yeah. And I wasn't here. Or else you could have helped. Could have protected us. I'm not in the show. I don't watch the show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so Dinar, um, he's rolling around, clutching his his tummy in <laughs> in a pool of vomit, <laughs> and he gets up, he gets up <laughs> to his to his knees, and he puts his hand on a uh, uh, nace, and uh, he just still in little like, like little just brother, for support, little brother mode, just yeah. wants to like. Uh, impress Nace, but and he sees that everyone's very beat up, uh -huh. and he is as well feeling it. So he goes, uh, "As your leader, I know you all really <laughs> missed that I was gone, and I'm sorry. I see that you you guys have suffered a lot in my absence, and and I I blame myself for that. I I know you all look up to me." Uh, walnut, most of all, and <laughs> and he's 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 Mace's 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 touched. He's like yeah. He's like God. He's really made a life for himself. And he's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Derisive and the, creaking. Yeah, Dinar's just like saying this mostly to Mace. Yeah. just like, and I just want you to know, like, 
We're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna get through this, you guys. He reaches back and like bolsters you. Yeah, he stands up straighter. He stops leaning on on Mace. Says, we're gonna get through this. I'll lead you. <laughs> we're gonna get through this. Uh, so that was just Dinar channeling divinity uh, to turn the tide. <laughs> nice. Uh, so he gives a uh, heartwarming speech, and then everyone uh, that I choose within range gets one d six plus three of healing. As long as they're less Thank you. So at least we all get a little something. A little top. Well, up. unless I roll a one, <laughs> then so it's that's four. That's four. We all take five damage. You piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Four points. I'll Thank you. That was a four point. Speech. Oh yeah, for <laughs> that was. Sure. Yeah, it was. Mace. Bulma gets a little extra because she was really touched. No. We'll, we'll, we'll sauce that. <laughs> but the other part sloshed off. A little goose. Yeah, exactly. It's four, but it feels like seven. Revealing that like soapy <laughs> New York wood. Um, <clears throat> right. He he says. So he he's he's holding you there, and he's like he nods, and he's like, "You good?" Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you see <clears throat> how touched my. Friends, uh, blood. Yeah. Blood is pouring out. Thank you, Tamar. He's like, he says, I'll be right back. And then he, he, he goes up and then takes two like massive swings. Yeah. Everywhere the false Cathris is not. He has covered, you think, 100% of the non Cathris wow. area with the two hits. And he comes back and he's like, guys, I'm, I'm losing it. Yeah, that's not, that I was, think that's not he, like you, man. He, he, he's like, I, I'm, I'm thinking about a lot of stuff right now. And yeah. <laughs> it seems like a lot's different. Like, I don't recognize any of the music. <laughs> a, I, I think of it as like a bold martial display. Yeah. Time for <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. yeah, trying no. to boast is over. No, no, like, like, to like, like at the front of a, 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 like a carnival or something yeah. like that. Like at the front of a, a parade. Like the sort of like, the sort of, like baton flinging you would see. Like, imagine that, that the bad guy in Indiana Jones where he's in Raiders and he's swinging yes, exactly. around, except they're like right next to each other. <laughs> but he still does not make contact with them. Um, <clears throat> uh, he's still not doing it. So over the, uh, there are, there's like a prodigious uh, higher up in the structure. There's a resounding sort of shriek of glass. Mm. As these four fingers begin to press ever closer, and there is a uh, up at the top, like one of these four quadrants has sort of been pinched off and has like fallen back out off of the top, and is now sort of you presume hurtling back down, back down toward that strange world that she's transformed into a weapon. Um, but outside the, basically the roof of this thing, a portion of it is now open to the sky. Mm. <clears throat> um, and inside, uh, from that hole, pour uh, all manner of assistance. Uh, there is, uh, seconds later, perched on the edge, uh, looking down, uh, two massive... Uh, blue wings uh, fold in uh, around the body uh, and after a moment's rest uh, it leaps from that high perch and does a like a sweeping attack uh, on the target and you have the sense to give it some room for this uh, bite. It fails miserably. Mm. Uh, Get with the display. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah. We're all impressed. The display some... gives you advantage. Yeah, exactly. Here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, two two gigant two giganto uh, snaps. Uh, Kuthris drop. I just admit, and I'm in a an emotional tomb of Levistus, <laughs> where I'm incapacitated. This is like there's nothing stopping this. Just gonna, <laughs> nothing to be done. Um, I want to know, um, in terms of this room. So you've described the. The like pillars, the vast and the pillars that contain sarcophagi. Right, the sarcophagi. I understand some vague nature of, like we did once see Maleth behind mm -hmm. yes. there, but it's I don't true. understand the space inside of that pillar. 
Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. You mean, you mean how, how how it looks, or like what how it works, or what it does? How how it works, or what it does? I am. Uh, uh, let me. Well, let me R, RP it. Yeah. Uh, I get on the the party line. Well, I suppose it's not instantiated in Dinar yet because it had to change the way it works. Oh really? Based on no, it's like four G. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's not data. But I know it's what you're cellular. doing. Yeah. And now I'm just insulted. You're like, why can't I hear it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I, I say, like, I have to go to the Ur. I think I have to go to where the Ur is. Oh, oh, boy. I don't know how else we can do this. I mean, if there is more coming, I'll wait. But if it's all going to go like this, you know, I don't think that hitting it with things is going to work <laughs> for us. If you truly think that that is the case, we will buy you time. Um, yeah, so what I will do then, I'm not going to do this yet. I'm essentially trying to understand the space inside the pillar so yeah. that I can dimension door into it. Yeah. <laughs> and, if it is, and if it is a physical <laughs> pillar, then that's not going to help me. Yeah. Um, but re- instead of doing that right now, I will at least do, um, whatchamacallit, I don't know. The fairy fire on uh, on Kafiris, yeah, so that you can at least enjoy some advantage. Yeah, yeah. Just, so just, I, but it's like it's like half hearted It's like uh, this, and then yeah. I got, I'm gonna think about other stuff here. Go <coughs> to the arcade. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let me. Yeah, I, I do fairy fire, so you can check that out. Oh, but you gotta. You can you beat a deck seventeen? Is the question. Not this time. Okay. Good. Nice. All right. So I, Only and I, three. And I sort of retreat back from exactly. the center of business. Exactly. And, and start to look for which one is the ur. Exactly. Pillar. And the, the nearer you are to uh, the altar, the more clarity and certainty uh, there is. Okay. Um, so mm. uh, as you begin to investigate that, uh, Walnut, your, uh, your front uh, in this battle takes a, a novel turn. So you can see, like, its, it's, it's attacks have only grown in ferocity as the battle has commenced. Um, but as you're, uh, as you're preparing to contend with it, you can see uh, that the, the vest, this ribcage vest that it's wearing, is sort of like flexing and shifting, like almost uncomfortably on it. Oh, no. And you can see it begins to shift and twist and then bend in to uh, the body. And it pushes in and then reaches in to expose the inner part. That's disgusting. Of Mm -hmm. Kithris. Mm -mm. And there is, in that central core... Uh, Legati and a mass of smaller creatures. Oh, really? Uh, that are animating that form. Nasty. He's like oogie boogie. Still, yeah. <laughs> uh, but that He's is still doing his thing. It, it, it it's is, classic Cthulhu. It, it is. It is your turn. I chuckle. Can't tell the, the, <laughs> the the vest. Yeah, same old shit. But this the vest has turned on its wearer somehow. Oh. Well, I was gonna go start freeing gods, but I'll do this now. Um, so I see this, and um, I am still like wrapped up, right? But yeah, yeah, but you I can... don't need to move to do this. Um, so I look at Maliki, and I um, I say um, I say uh, we have it, it, like she I just reach knows. Out telepathically, like she yeah. knows. Um, and I say, uh, we have to free the others like we freed Maleth. And I, and I say, w- would you help us? Will you help us? <clears throat> and she nods silently. Okay. Um, and then I, uh, while, like, I said this while I'm winding up, and it's like, it, it's like <laughs> instead of a fist, it's like the roots have, like, formed together Wrapped to together. make this, like, spear. T-1000. And I'll try my two Polymimetic alley. slam-o attacks. Knives, stabbing weapons. Um, that's a 21. Oop, and a not 21. Um, so I'll do it again. I 
can really can only hit with one of these slam attacks. Um, Oof. Nine. Oh, oh shit! Nine. Plus two, twenty-two. Forty-four. Oh, yummy. From one. Mm. Imagine what two could have done. I know. <laughs> no, I know. No, that's nice. Say that with admiration. Forty-four. I hit it with two, two no. hated fours. So Ooh. it goes through the center of the creature, directly into the floor behind it, and the roots at the tip pierce the structure of the Sanguilith and begin to grow and you can see them like traveling, what? snaking through the floor yeah. uh, in the base. These tiny creatures uh, have now fled the Cthris. Um, they have jumped like, they like, like piranha. Uh, they have sort of like jumped and they have some capacity due to their nature uh, that allows them to enter that crystal and swim away. Um, the color inside the Sanguilith shifts back from red to purple. Hmm. It's like attack mode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, who's up? Yeah, no one's up. Oh. Oh. Combat is over. Oh. oh. We we did it. We won. Well, you did that part. What of the Cthrys? Does it, yeah. has it collapsed? It's melted oh. apart. The, the entire central core of it has been shattered completely. Where's Ligati? Uh, Ligati is nowhere to be seen in this. Okay. It's just a shattered mm. body uh, in the central core. Um. But there's nothing to animate anymore. There's no, there's no locus for it to focus itself. The yeah, you need that. Uh, coward. <laughs> that <clears throat> no follow through. There's always a classic, problem. Classic dad. Yeah. Apply yeah. <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're always making stupid mistakes. You had us. Is that so? The 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 ceiling is still open. Part of it is yes. Um, well, who? What is the position of everybody around the room? So. I'm like with a hand stuck. Yeah, in the exactly. Ground. So you can you can rooted. Okay. Yeah, you can rich you can retreat. You can now I've got explore. Plans for that dude, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I it, so as I'm backing as I was backing away toward the black altar to in order to go check the yeah. the pillars. Um, now that the heat's off. Yeah. I turn to the black altar. Is it the one that I recognize? There is a place that you could put your own, yeah, uh, I your your own holy symbol, yeah. for lack of a better term. I mean, I don't feel that connection with it anymore, but I'm desperate too. It seems like it was here for a reason. How did it come to be here? <clears throat> I guess I struck it with the yeah. with your sword. Yeah. So I asked the two of you. I'm hugging Nace. Yeah, he's 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 got him. He's got him. Like two hands, like the bug Every down time here. There's a free moment. Right here. Tenar's Both in, arms are over here. Inadvertently, Aww. doesn't even realize he's doing it. And he says, "Well, do you know about the glittering dragon king Vars Malus? Yeah. Blessed be his name. We've met. Yeah. The the all hallowed one. Mm -hmm. He who sparkles. I think so. I just I, that's what I say. That's not. I mean, the priests don't say. That. Those are all accurate. Yeah. I think. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> he said. So he. Met somebody. You're gonna have to fill in me in on the rest of it. I just do what he says. That's my God. It's our God. It's an awesome God. He reigns <laughs> from heaven above with wisdom, power, and our love. God. Our God is an awesome God. <laughs> awesome <laughs> God. Um, he's like, and then he, there's a, there's a few gentle pets on the side of Dinar's face, <clears throat> and he says, so he fell in with somebody that he said was a a good good guy. Didn't talk much. Okay. So there was a big threat that they had to manage together. And there was somebody else that was getting in the way. Okay. And I don't know what any of that means, but I do what the big guy says. Uh, and the big guy? That's first Malus, that's first Malus. Yes, brought a chair with him? Uh, that's what I thought. Where is Vars Malus? <clears throat> Vars Malus is... Well, I asked the group. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, the chair is the... Right. Is the black altar, right. yeah. yeah. Okay. And the and the the guy who's quiet, I'm assuming, is some er 
it's construct. Fair, yeah. And then one who got in the way is Sangolith. And then I still don't know anything about what the plan was. But he did bring the black altar. Listen, I, I have no choice. I have a piece of it. I remember running across it. And it may not have even been revealed fully as an altar when I No, you it. may not even have. Think about the young Cuthris that has yeah. seen it. Yeah. I was more concerned with reading it than what the shape was. Uh, I approached the, the spot. And it do, with the arcane focus, it's clear these belong together. Oh, it's one, it is one object. Yeah. It's only a distortion of space that makes it two. I move my tiny little body between Pythoris <laughs> and the three of these. You're all massively bigger than me. It doesn't make any difference. <laughs> but this is the, the, the stance that I take. It's basically <laughs> like one foot in front of Walnut's trunk and the other one in front of the, the Nace Dinar conglomerate. <laughs> Yeah, I'm realizing like I've, I'm I got a lot of my own blood on me, which nice. I don't mind. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congrats, dude. But I'm embarrassed almost that I should fit this piece, uh, dirty as it is, with the rest of the altar, yeah. which I assume has been is pristine. Yeah, well, from it's, its storage. It's just yeah, yeah, black stone. Yeah, and I and I place it in. I socket it. <clears throat> as you, it, it, there's a a slight turn to the right that's required uh, to fully seat it. Um, and when you do so, the entirety of the structure becomes black onyx, obsidian glass. Mm. Is it, does it dance with, with glyphs? There's no glyphs. Uh, but inside this place, uh, each of the gods is, con is continues to be in a kind of stasis a chain mm -hmm. uh, around. They're still held in place. But you see Sybil Laith, or the entity that introduced itself as Sybil Laith. Mm -hmm. uh, and she uh, entreats you to listen to her side of the story. For the podcast, Chris is shrugging. He's shrugging. Yeah. <laughs> making a face, too. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that as, as in character. It's, yeah. It's like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> just like, okay. Are you sure? <clears throat> do we want to listen to what this Where is Where is uh, Ms. Lath? She, in the chair? Just, just, no, just before you. Okay, just has appeared up here. Okay. This version of the Sangwith doesn't have any of the damage. It is just a sort of featureless, geometric uh, hollow. I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm like, we, we listen while we continue to destroy it, right? Uh, this, is a, this is illusory, and I, it probably can persist until mortal damage is caused. Um, and if it wishes to speak during that rending. Was this all? <laughs> no, I'm saying it out loud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going to say, that like, sounds great. She's yeah. right here, and I'm oh. saying it to Walnut. <laughs> oh, and uh, I say no. Oh, no, I don't. I say nothing because I'm a tree. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying. <laughs> I, I creak, and I look like I'm pulling at my hand like I'm trying to retreat it, but really, and if the DM would let me. Yeah, I'm ready. Um, because this is not concentration, and I am not technically wild shaped, and who knows what powers the tree has. Um, but I would love to use plant growth on myself to continue oh. to grow those roots out Ooh. towards the captured god. This is great. <laughs> so you'll, you'll just continue to progress. Yeah, and I would uh, imagine you know they they go slow, but like well, they, they, while this is happening, they go slow, but they go. Okay. Cool. So you're reaching out toward that awareness. Yes. You're trying to. Enter into some kind of knowledge of that space. I got my tiny uh, little arms blocking still. Like, Kathris, you wanted to find the Ur. We found the Ur. Why would you listen to whatever this thing has to say? Oh, I'm not. I if if it makes <laughs> oh, no, no. if it makes it feel better, it can speak. You can listen. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything that some kind of god prison has to say. Uh, I'm yeah. I I'm like trying to reach out with my mind to the Ur. Like now that I've given the the focus back. 
Maybe it's, it is a part, the earth is a part of a greater whole, and I want to understand the nature of this altar. What do you want to know? Let me, so let me do an arcana check on it. I want to know why the, this, what is the import of Make it with advantage. In this place, I will. Oh, Ooh, Ooh, that's going to be real good. That'll be a, I think, 23. Mm-hmm. And then a 22. So I really want to know. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, tell me what it is you want to know. And I am honor bound to tell you. I want to understand why it was. And so, in, so independent of this of this lecture you're about to receive. Yeah. You just want to know. Yes, I want information. I'm not trying to do a thing. I try, I'm trying to figure out why it was so important for Vars Malus, who is working with the Ur, to bring the Black Altar here. What was? How was this going to change the outcome? The black altar, the purpose of the black altar was to uh, allow the moment you're experiencing now. To, meta- to create, receive information from To the create earth. a context hmm. in which information could be shared and received at a high level of efficiency. Oh, good. That's exactly what I want. Is anybody upset if I sit in it? <laughs> I, think I'm, I think upon understanding that, I am already... Like seating myself yeah. that, on the altar. <clears throat> yeah, Nace looks over at you, Dinar, and says, "It's not. It's not a great chair." No, it was in the sword. Yeah, there's. It's the bad boy chair. There's changes. There's changes I would make. It was missing the most important part. It was missing the most comfortable part. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know about that. Though. Yeah, I'm, I'm <clears throat> sitting. I sit. So, ask. Uh, that just that's you just feel it. You can ask see, you can and ask, know. Ask the earth. Anything. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, why did you allow yourself to be part of the Sangulus? Why would you permit the Sangulus to utilize you? The Sangulus was a function of pure order. Ultimately, in order to maintain a pure order, there was required a mechanism to counter threats to that order to retain it. It began as a coalition the first three you see here entered willingly. They entered so that the true threat, that of Haster, could be contained. But once Haster had been consumed, the operation of the Sangolith was manipulated in such a way as to cause it to become parasitic. And then ever greater power was required to be consumed in order to maintain the prison around Haster. And then you get an awareness of what Haster is. And it's like it has to be described in negative space. Mm -hmm. None of the laws that you understand, none of the laws you've been seeking, they are real. They do offer certainty. But there are creatures that exist that are almost slippery in a way, conceptually slippery. They exist between those two places. Mm -hmm. And as it stands, the Sangolith is what is holding Haster at bay. Uh, So it's a creature to even conceive of it, makes it more dangerous, and then to recognize the threat causes it to attack. It it constitutes, it's, it's antithetical to the order that you prize. Uh, I want very much to tell the group this. <laughs> and then I... Don't. I say I can't tell you what I've heard. I didn't, I can't tell you what I've just listened to. What I've been made to understand. Tr- truly Lovecraftian. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. And so the, trying to yeah. bring all these gods. So and yeah. so the, Fantastic. and so there is a, a sound like the door of a great vault, like a resounding sound of it being closed, and teeth 
four large blades are beginning to cut into the sides of this prison. And you can see, you can just see uh, a crack forming straight down through the prison of Haster. Oh, oh mm. no. I, if I'm, so I'm still saying <clears throat> And so, but this is, this, is what you, this is what you come to know more than anything else. It may be that uh, Habakkuk was eaten as a, out of desperation. Mm. Um, 148 was consumed in an effort to regain morality. And Vars Malus entered of his own free will. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I, as, I, as I see the split coming down. Well, and, and you can also sort of like, you can see dark shapes traveling through the floor underneath. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I'm aware of that, but just like, like with a thousand yard stare, I just say to the group, we need to feed it more gods. <laughs> I knew I'd get him back. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh, what are you Martin? doing? <laughs> we need to feed it. <laughs> oh, no. You hear it, like creaking, and then just it sounds like wind through the trees, but you just hear no. <laughs> oh, it's so low. It's so low, like no. And uh, she just keeps pushing her roots through it. Yeah. If I see Vars Malus, uh-huh. and I'm over there. Is, is Nace on board this with is, trying to free? This is, Nace doesn't have the int. Yeah, so, so he's a we're good over dude. there going after the he's, a, he's a good dude. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he was trying to sit on the, well, on yeah, the, on no, the, on the raw yeah. emblem of order. Yeah. Oh my god. So. This is like that we're, fountain in the game all over again. We're freeing our god. Yeah. I look to someone strangle Maliki. Yeah, I look to Maliki and I just say, I just convey, run, go. When I hear him say that, yeah. Oh yeah. So it, 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 as soon as that happens, she turns like the the elk rises up, mm -hmm. and then by the time the hooves would touch behind you, she's gone. Fantastic! Wow. So you can gonna feel. Get, get you, mine. you can feel. <laughs> you can feel through this strange soil. You can feel the memories of Maleth here. Mm -hmm. Like you, as you're creeping toward the prisons, like you just like your knowledge of it is absolute. You know exactly where she would have been stored in this structure. There's still some echo or trace of her in the crystal. Um. And she was last in, last out. Um, so I want I want to reach up and split that crystal if I can, or which, like start. Which which one? The um, because I know from talking to Rosie, like we have it all mapped out. The we do the la the most recent spot. The most recent spot is is, is, is Vars Malus. right? Yeah. So, I mean, I see a familiar god, and I oh yeah, go for absolutely. It. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, you can see. So you are over there, yeah, uh, with with, with Nace, Nace, yeah. And he he gives you the he gives Punching you the, it. no <laughs> <laughs> he gives you the he gives you the nod, um, and he just starts going nuts on. It. Yeah, so do I. Like okay. and there. the sc the scary thing is that in this form, it's possible to do it. It's, this is not the Sangleth anymore. This is something else. Mm. Um, I see y'all going ham on this particular tomb. Mm. And there's, I turn to Cthris and I, I say to them, why do we need to imprison more gods? It's full. How can we possibly? It, this keeps, this keeps anti-order out. That's all this ever was. Out of what? What does it keep it out of? Out of the ordered. It wants in. <laughs> so you're both chipping. It's like uh, yeah, it's it, it's like it's like two. It's like you're trying to open a train tunnel or something. Like it's like um, <laughs> opposite blows. Like you're just trading yeah. on the same exact spot. Uh, I'm I'm trying very hard to to understand 
just in case we're about to do something very, very terrible. What is it? What, what is it? What's going to introduce anti-order? Can't, I can't, I can't utter its name. Thrift! Yeah. <laughs> I'm, no, pouring me, more in. I'm pouring so, more strength I, in. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm just like, I can't convey it to you what it is. Yeah. Like a, like a, like Polaris hideously winking. <laughs> I, 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 I just say, oh, Hellwing, Titan Blur. <laughs> and I run over to the, the column that's being split, the Haster column, yeah. and I just, I, I just cast Mending. That's all I've got. <laughs> I'm trying to seal one foot of this crystal. I love it. I love it. So you're just, you're just trying to hold that central one yeah. at bay. Black, <laughs> as you're chopping through, you're starting to see black fingers reaching up through the glass in front of the prison. Mm. And uh, yeah, they, they, that's what it looks like underneath okay. the glass. But as you begin to chipping through, you can see that it's actually like mm. roots. And as soon as they're exposed out to the open air, they uh, twist and climb like pea vines mm -hmm. um, and begin to help, up, help with the work of tearing the chunks yeah. uh, open. Oh, God. I yell over my shoulder, it's almost free, almost got him. We're doing it. Again. We did it before, we'll do it again. I'm just wringing right, my hands. Right, team? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't, I'm not participating in either side, I'm just like, you guys... What if, what if Kasaris is right? But none of you can hear me. Yeah. Yeah, so, God, I just gotta, so I'm, I just say like, they, some of them willingly came. They are a battery that, that keeps this one shut, that keeps this one locked in place. The one that's now, I mean, my mending is over. Yeah. That's done. Are you pointing it out to us? Yeah, I am. I'm pointing right, out which I one All right, I look it at is. it. What does that do, Jerry? What? Oh, at the creature? Yeah. Inside, underneath, it just looks like a, almost like an icon of a dark sun. Oh. Um, it's very much like what you saw through the spyglass. Right. Except... Those creatures. With e e e exactly. Except you could not count... You could not count the, the tendrils um, or eyes. Mm. And I, I still can't. No. Okay. No, and indeed, the more you look at it, the more difficult it becomes to look away from it. Okay. Like a magic eye. <laughs> exactly Just like that. Like a magic oh. eye. Yeah, so see a dolphin. when you gesture toward it, I assume you're wise enough not to look. Yeah, I'm not looking not at me. it. Not me. I look right at it, and then I'm stuck. <laughs> and I, I can't stop, and I it come, keeps multiplying. I come over to, to break the gaze and, and, <laughs> and cover your eyes. Okay. And, and uh, I say, like, don't look. Don't look at it. I try to push your look hand at, away. Look at your gods, but not this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah. I, I completely fix it. Even if your hand is in front of my vision, I'm still, I'm still, I can't tear myself away from it. And I, I start to mutter, <sighs> like, what, it could, could thrust, this isn't, it, there's, there's no sense in this. This there isn't is rational. None. There's nothing. No, that's the problem. None of this. Yes. <laughs> That's the problem. I know. <laughs> well, welcome help. to my world. There's help. I can't, I can't. I figured this out too late. You're behind me. <laughs> <laughs> there is literally nothing I can do like, other I, than. It's, uh, my eyes are open so long that they start to water. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I have nothing. I see one cracking. And in my head, in my head. You got to play it. Yeah, this yeah. Is a, you gotta play it. You like, gotta play it. In my head, it's like everyone has a god that is near and dear to them, and that uh, if it were only freed, they would experience the joy mm -hmm. that I feel of, course. of being one with my god, or Dinar feels being one with his god, or right. anyone who has been oh, in contact or, with Mela. You know, yeah. you know <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> right. Brahman, whatever. Right, right. Yeah. And so I see one splitting, and um, I send roots over to help it go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, it's it's this it's how sure. it has to work. You're still working on Bars Malus? Has to, yeah, and, but, I but mean, now like, Haster too. Oh, you see the Haster splitting. I see splitting Haster too? splitting okay. and it's like uh, oh, if I can get any yeah. of these gods out. Yeah, all you're like, thinking of is like there's gotta be someone who it's like, yeah, maybe I don't get it. Yeah. Or, I don't get it, but this is somebody's yeah. patron. Exactly. Like, no, right. we've been here before freeing gods. No, I'm one hundred percent there too. Once Vars is out, I'm gonna go chip at another one. So just faintly under my breath, Kithris, you're the only one who can hear me. 
It's like, you have to stop them. You have to stop them. You have to, I can't. You have to stop them. This isn't, this can't happen. Uh, tell, okay. tell her to stop. Yeah. So you, so even here inside this, this place, near this uh, concretized order, there are, there are solutions available to you that are not on your character sheet. Mm. Nice. So, <laughs> gun. So being, <laughs> there is, a, it. it's, it's, it's like, <laughs> it's like you go, it's like you go sort of like through and then around this idea multiple times, but you come to understand at some point what you've been trying to get to, which is that there are various distortions of the co of the conscious mind, mm. and one of them is that there's distinctions between objects, places, and times. Sure. Um, you think that there isn't any reason why you could not leverage the mechanisms of order. If you could conceive of a solution that you felt could function, or replace some aspect of this system, create a version of it that was moral, for example. Create a version of it that did not have a bondage aspect, or did not cause others to suffer. It, I would need, if, 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 if Haster's intent is to bring about more of this disorder or exist between the rules, then, there, then we must have more appetizing rules for it to destroy than those of this universe. Incredible. It, Tell me more. We have to create, if it is anti, if we exist on a spectrum, and this is the inconceivable, and w our universe is pretty conceivable. Yes. There may exist a far more ordered, far more rigid plane, which would be more appealing, or osmotically would be a magnet and maybe we could buy some time that way. Oh my God. Tell me more. Incredible. No, I've told you, it should be evident now. The conceit there is that- You have all the pieces. You know, <laughs> how is our reality not the, the ultimate reality though? You're like a super luminous reality, a there's, super order? Yes. There's a lot of play in the, the physics and the rules of magic that we all yeah, enjoy and true. take for yeah, granted. Imagine an impossibly ordered, an impossibly rigid Determinist universe so where all the things real are world. known. You're, you're saying this in D and D yeah. about the real yeah. world. <laughs> there is, yeah, imagine where there isn't magic there are, and paladins. No, we're no. talking about yeah. a situation. No, this, like let it. me tell you where this ends, Dinar. This it ends with Earth. him sicking Haster on, on the real, real Earth. Earth. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Holy shit! <laughs> that's easier to do than anybody knows. Yeah. Okay. No, leave Faye alone. Go uh, after we him. are dealing with uh, probabilities. Yes. Where we live, I'm talking about a universe. There isn't even uh, outcomes because there's a one through line. Yeah. There's nothing that occurs there. Oh, this is a game. Yeah. In their eyes. Yeah. That's how ordered they are. Oh my God, it's a never ending story. Describe it. Describe what it would be like to conceive of it. And it will be made real. Uh, it's a, it's a extra dimensional construct. It's a single object. Time is one of the linear dimensions. It is dark. It is impassable. It is a single atom, infinite in size. It does not interact with anything, and nothing interacts with it. <laughs> it is pointless, and yet it is the underpinning of everything else that is possible. It is as though on a plane, when, when we dream at night, our dreams are absurd and they make no sense. Imagine a thing beneath us that we are the dream of it and this is absurd to it. You're saying down there. Yeah. So I had this dream about a guy who lived for 70, 80 years and he was like, he had a, a thing that he had to tell where to go. <laughs> with an engine that they had made, and they had, just, they had made this thing, like there was a reason to have done so. 
That's fantastic. Now go a layer beneath that one. Beneath that one. It just, everything would just become dimmer and less vital until you just have that one indivisible unit. That portion of the wall shrinks to nothing and is gone as the four cleaver-like blades of pleasant Tomnook's world ship <laughs> collapses in, crushing the structure completely. The only advantage, I would say, to the party is that having freed uh, no less than six gods, the landing they receive uh, on the strange surface <laughs> of the last planet in the Homeward Star system is very soft <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Shadow Council, Mayor oh, Labors, please you. Uh, we got to get to uh, a real, real quick break, maybe, and then we got to do some table talk real, real quick. But we had to take the right amount of time to do it. Oh. Uh, thank you so much uh, for putting up uh, <laughs> with Chris. <laughs> yeah, he, He's you know, in it. Please he talk does, to your therapist about that. Yeah. He, he, he does his best, right? But it's like, right? You know, we try to have fun. Yeah, we try to have a fun, lively game. Hey, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>